happy Wednesday and welcome to our live stream. We're gonna finish up this T-Rex breakout set from Jurassic Park and I have pretty much where we're at so far in the table in front of me. We have our little Ford Explorer slash Jeep. I'm just gonna call it a Jeep. <laughs> Sorry everyone. And then we have our T-Rex, super cute. Um, so yeah, I've done one build stream on this so far and today we're gonna finish it. We have a few bags left. Here's the set, let's just get into it. How's everyone doing today? We got assembled bits here, welcome. Finishing up my 50 gallons of Lego and I'm working on Mills plates. That sounds like a lot of work. Uh, we got Rosie here, welcome. Anna Reyes, hello, Brian. As always, it's great to see you. Oh, we have another Brian Dezen, so welcome, welcome. We've got a bag of tiles. Bag seven, y'all, is where we're at. So we have our little platform, we have our Jeep, and then a T-Rex, so cute. I broke it, it's fine, it's all good. Um, J-Bob, hello. Ooh, a sneaky live build. Oh, is it sneaky? Why is it sneaky? Ooh, I guess uh, we can be sneaky. That's fine, that's fine. We got Square Bricks here, welcome. What's going on, Liam, Magic Guy, hello. Lightning Lego, Balaban, hello, welcome. Envying Deer, hello and welcome as well. Um, Ebers, hi. So many people, welcome everybody. So we have a few things that I do want to talk about today, um, but we'll just get to that when we do. So much like has happened, I guess, over the last few days. So I'm here for it. There's like all of these different Lego conventions coming up. There's, I had, you know, I got to interview, like it was like my dream interview and I got to you know, par participate in it and ask like my favorite person in Lego questions. And I might've fangirled a lot, but I'll tell you guys all about it. Cause yeah, I, I was very excited. It was a very big day. Um, what's going on Mystery Falls? Hello, Alex. Welcome. Square Bricks. Zyrus. Great to see you. Um, ooh, Charles is asked, did you see that there's a Lego Shrek ideas set? Mm, I actually, actually, I feel like I did see that. I was going to say no, but I think I saw that. That is so cool. I would love it if they made Shrek. Like, who doesn't love Shrek? It's just fantastic. It's so funny. And like, when you watch it as a kid, it's funny, but then you watch it as an adult and there's like all this like extra levels of humor where you're like, okay, they're sneaky. Okay. But yeah, I loved it. Oh, Green Ninja, your name's also Emily. I love it. <laughs> That's so fun. Mona said the magic. What do you want to talk about? Oh, well, thank you for asking. <laughs> um, so let's see. Let's just get into it. So I got to participate in a Lego Masters interview. And it's like a roundtable format. So there were, I think, like six or seven other creators there. Um, and it was just it was just so cool. Like, first of all, it's just kind of nice, like... I don't know, participating in that because it puts a lot of creators together that you wouldn't normally see together, I guess. Like there's vlogs, there's, you know, YouTubers, there's just all sorts of different content that these people are making. And then like, you know, you're, you're able to go around and ask the Lego Masters judges, Amy and Jamie, questions. Um, each person gets usually like six to eight minutes to ask. Um, and then if there's time at the end, you can ask some more. So that's exciting. Is that Top Pops? Wait, are you, you're in my stream. That's so exciting. Hi, Top Pops. I love your channel. That's so much fun. Man, well, awesome. Hi, if y'all don't know Top Pops, he does a lot of like Funko Pop vlogs and hauls and pretty much everything Funko Pops. Like, I love watching his content because it's it, it feels like very like similar vibe. You know, it's like a lot of vlogs going out and like hunting for new pops and stuff like that. So it's great to see you. Hi, <laughs> little like starstruck, it's fine. Um, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. We have Wayne Nurse. Hello, welcome from Toronto. Awesome. We got Moments of Magic. The coaster. Yes, the new roller coaster. That's another big thing we got to talk about, y'all. That was crazy. Like, so we got the press release for the new coaster. Oh, gosh. It was like 24 hours in advance. And I was just like, oh, gosh. Like, oh, my gosh. I need, like, you know, I want to make content on it. Like, I want to show everybody. Like, do an initial thoughts kind of video. And, like, I saw the pictures and... I was just like shaking, like, you know, Ross is on a business trip, Mr. Mr. Business over here. He's like out of town right now. And I saw the pictures for it and I was just like, what is happening? I like told Ross like, yo, this is so cool. And um, yeah, I like just wanted to film like my initial reaction to it essentially. And so I, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys liked the set. Oh my gosh, that's cool. So yeah, that's coming out July 1st and they actually changed it. The roller coaster is coming out July 1st for VIP. And then it's coming out for, um, I guess, like, everyone else. Like, anyone can sign up for VIP, so it makes it sound all fancy, but it's like, you just need to, like, give them your email. Like, <laughs> that's it. Um, but yeah, it comes out for everybody else on um, the 5th. So if you want to get it early, make sure that you are a LEGO VIP member. 
again, like literally anyone can do it. It sounds all like prestigious or whatever. Just sign up, give them your email, whatever. And you can buy it early. It is $400, so it's kind of crazy. It's a lot of money, but you know, it's a cool set. It's huge. It's just super exciting. And so we already figured out where to put it in the Lego city, but like, it's gonna take a lot of work to like prepare it. So we have about a month to get there. But I'm so excited. Like it looks so good. I'm just blown away that they made loops. Like what's up with that? That's crazy. Oh, breaking up Brad. What's going on Brad? Welcome. What are your thoughts on the build so far? So we got our dino. What should I name it? I don't, there's no like name for it. At least in like the new Jurassic world, it's like blue. You know, it's like, oh, cool, blue. But no, we just have dino, John Doe. Um, a little Jeep, I'm gonna call it a Jeep. People get like all worked up when I don't say Ford Explorer, but like, I, I don't know. I really think that like, at least for me, Jeep is like a style of car. You know, it's just kind of like, oh, it's like a Jeep, you know? So yeah, we have our, we have our Jeep, kind of like trigger some car people out there. And in this beautiful base that looks like nothing so far. So, I mean the build, <clears throat> it is kind of nice. I have it here, there we go. It's kind of nice because like it is split up. So you're able to like, <laughs> it looks like Ross, <laughs> Mr. Soros over here. Um, you are able to split it up. So like in the instructions, let me show you guys. This is actually, it's like my, not, not really a pet peeve, but it's like the one thing I wish Lego would change about what they're doing. I mean, I'm sure there's a few things, but one main thing is like, it's so hard to build with other people sometimes. And so like with this here, it's like bags one and two. Oh, other over here. Sorry. It's mirrored. Um, bags one and two, you build the Jeep. It's a Jeep. Um, three, four, five, the dyno, and then everything else is like the base for it. So that's super like convenient. Cause then you can, you know, three people could work on this. You pull them up on your phone, the instructions and get to work like that. But I, I love that. I love that they're doing that more. So that makes me happy and I'm liking the build. I think it's great. We got <laughs> big Bertha here. Yeah. I like this Rexter, Rex, Rexterson, John Dino. <laughs> I like it. Um, I keep having the red hot chili peppers roller coaster of love song in my head. The roller coaster is so cool, right? Just call it Rex, <laughs> Rexy, man. Oh yeah, Brick HQ has a good point about the coaster. With the motors, it would be 480. Yeah, I mean, that, that is a great point. We do have them already. So like there is that, and it's kind of like an investment, you know, like you get the you get the motors and you have them, you can play with them a lot. Like they're, it's not just one thing that you can only use once, you know? So I, I feel like it's worth it and it just brings the set to life. So yeah. If you're getting the coaster, you're already spending 400, you know, it's like, just spend the extra 80, get the, get the motors. Like it, it makes it so much more worth it. It's like the Falcon, you know, like a lot of people are like, wow, that stands so expensive, but it's like, it's an $800 Lego set. It's about a hundred more for a stand. And I got it from Wicked Bricks. Um, I love the stand, great stand, but it's like, gosh, that's a hundred bucks. That sucks. But it's like, the thing was 800, like you might as well spend the extra like 80 to 100 to make it look incredible on display. Cause otherwise like, it's just a big pancake, you know? It's like, what do I do with it? We had it just on a table for a while and it just, it's $800, you know, you want it to look good. So, you know, get the stand, get the motors, just, just do it. Like if you're able to just do it, it's so worth it. <coughs> Currently it's 2 AM. Oh my gosh, Cyrus. <coughs> I ordered the battery pack and motor yesterday. Good, good, Brian. It's so worth it. So worth it. Um, oh, let's see, Brick HQ. Did you see the squirrel in one of the pictures by the line? I did, no squirrels allowed. And then in the picture, it's like the one with the, the loop. Um, <coughs> excuse me. There's like a squirrel right next to it, kind of like looking at them. And I'm like, what is this squirrel up to? Like, I don't trust it. I don't, I don't trust the squirrel at all. I don't know. I don't know what, it, what he's up to, but I don't like it. <laughs> Not feeling it. Squirrel kind of scares me. Oh, uh, thanks Thomas. Yes. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yes. Please do consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Just do all the YouTube stuff. I appreciate y'all. Um, have you seen the 90 years of play Walmart exclusive? Wait, is it a Walmart exclusive? <laughs> is it this? So I got this from Lan and I still need to make content on it. Cause I'm just like, I don't, I don't know how to make content on this. Like I want to do another reality TV parody and just like have me and Ross get like fake mad at each other while building ducks or something like, 
We have a lot of fun with it. But yeah, that one is really cool. I really do like it. We haven't opened it yet or anything, but I love the box so much. And it's the, mine's the pop tabs. So I'm like, I don't want to destroy it. It just looks so cool. Like on the back, it has all of the, you know, different inspiration from it. Here, I'll just hold it up for you guys. Cause it's just, it's beautiful. Look how pretty that is. So yeah, I don't really know, like, how do you review this? You know, it's like, hey, there's a bunch of pieces in here and here's kind of what the builds look like. So it's like, we're gonna do like a reality TV parody, I think. Those are just, I love them. I think they're really fun. They're just totally ridiculous, totally out there, but it's like my favorite video I've ever made. So I wanna do it some more. <laughs> I really liked it. Um, who's loving the Stranger Things season four? Okay, I am obsessed with, um, what, what is that song? Running Up That Hill? Some, you know, I think that's what it's called. I don't even know what it's called. That's embarrassing. I've listened to it probably like 400 times since, um, you know, yesterday. <laughs> like, I, I just love it. I'm just like, man, the character development's insane. If y'all haven't seen Stranger Things yet, go watch it. Season four, to be fair, like, I don't do well during, like, scary movies or TV shows. Like, I don't want to be scared. I feel like that's, you know, like, I feel like that's like a biology thing. You know, like, who, who would, like, want to be scared? You know, it's like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be scared. So I, um, I do advise just like, you know, it is a little scary. Um, might've, you know, looked away a lot, but it was, it was, it was incredible. I'm obsessed with the whole cast from that. I like followed everyone on Instagram and I'm just like stalking them. I, I love it. They're so talented. It's so good. <laughs> Anyways, Nakia, welcome, welcome. We got Rosie here. I haven't picked up any Lego this year, only a poly bag and a tiny set. Well, that's good. Like enjoy it however you want to enjoy it. And like, you know, be financially responsible, all that kind of stuff. Like that is very important. Oftentimes, like, you know, I mean, it all obviously sells better. Like, wow, I spent a thousand on Lego, but like, you know, it's, that's not a reality. Like, you know, it's also my job and you know, we don't do that all the time. Like August 1st is coming and we're like, okay, save up starting two months ago for all this stuff coming soon. Like, you know, it's, it's a lot. And you know, just remember it's not always, what, what is Raven doing? Um, it's not always like practical, but, um, I don't know what, what that was. Um, oh, let's see. Cyrus is saying, can't wait for volume two. I know. Same, same, same. Today I got Lego, a series 22 minifigure and some switch tracks for my railway. Ooh, awesome. Alan's here. Hi, watch, watching here. Love your videos. Thank you. Oh, it's great to have you here, Alan. Really appreciate it. Oh, let's see. Okay. What am I doing? What am I, what am I even doing here? <laughs> okay. Let's, let's see. I think I finished that step. Gosh, the instructions are kind of dark. And so whenever there's like, you know, it, it just makes it so much harder to see it, I think. Um, Cause of like the glare and everything. But anyways, let's see. So Stranger Things, Lego Masters. Can I tell you guys about the interview? I, I won't go like super into detail. Like I want to make a video on it. Um, just kind of like talking through what happened and like why it meant so much to me. But, you know, I remember when I got into land, this was, oh God, like a year ago, about a, maybe a year and a half ago something like that. During my onboarding, um, the person I was talking to that onboarded me, they, they were like, oh, so like, you know, I'm curious, like, what are you looking to get out of the land? Like, you know, that kind of thing. It was just kind of talking about that. And she was like, do you have any questions? And I was like, yeah, you know, I know that there's designer interviews. If there's any chance ever to interview uh, Amy Corbett, Brickmaster Amy from Lego Masters, like, please consider me. Like, she's awesome. Like, I really look up to her, like, please consider me for that. And she was like, okay, cool. Noted. I was like, awesome. Cool. And then I got the email like, you know, three weeks ago or something. It's like, Hey, if you would like to participate in this round table interview for, you know, Amy Barnett, um, sorry, Amy Corbett and Jamie Barnett, um, Berard, um, you know, please, you know, respond to this email by this time. And I was just like, Oh my God, Oh my God, it's happening. Like I, I cried. <laughs> it was like really early in the morning. I saw it at like 6am and I was just like, Ugh. <laughs> And I went over to Ross. He was already working and he was like, what's wrong? Like he stood up like, do you need a hug? Like what's happening? I was like, I get to meet Amy. <laughs> it was just like a little, you know, it's like a little embarrassing, but I'm also like, I was so excited. You know, like I think, you know, sh she's awesome. And you know, it also just like, it goes further than that too. Like when I got into Lego, it was, you know, kind of, it was really around when Lego Masters was coming out. So like, I really associate that show with like, me becoming a Lego fan. 
And, you know, I was watching it before I started on YouTube, but I was, like, super into it. And, you know, it was just, it was a lot of fun to watch. Like, me and Ross would watch every week. I cry, like, <laughs> I, I mentioned this in the interview, too. I was like, you know, like, every time, like, there's two teams that are voted off, or, you know, it's, like, the bottom two and they have to pick one. Like, you can tell who's going to get kicked off or, you know, who's eliminated. Kicked off sounds kind of bad. Um, whoever goes home, because, you know, Jamie, he's a little bit harder to read. But Amy, like, if there's a female team and a male team, it's like, if she cries, it's the female team. And I'm, like, watching it. But then I watch, and, like, she's crying. And then I cry, too, because I'm, like, that kind of person that if I see someone crying, I'll just start crying. Like, no matter what it is, I'm just, like, I'm sad, too, now. Like, I'm sad for you. And so I told her, like, during the interview, I was, like, you know, it's just, like, very wholesome, you know? Because, like, it seems like you guys really like all the contestants, all the teams. And, you know, talked about that a little bit. And I was just like, yeah, also, like, whenever you start crying, I'm crying too. Like, I just want everyone to build Lego together and just hang out, you know, forever. I don't want anyone to go home. I just want everyone to, like, build together and have fun. And, like, how nice is that? You know, but I get it's a reality show and that's, you know, not as entertaining just watching people build Lego. <laughs> as I'm building Lego. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was just so cool. She was so nice and, like... <clears throat> You know, they, they were just very, very open about a lot of it. So I do have a recording of that interview that I'm able to share. Um, so I'll take bits and pieces of that to create content around it. But God, it was so cool. Like, she was so nice. And it was just, yeah, I'm thrilled that I was able to kind of meet her. I had, like, you know, not chatted, but, like, you know, responded to stories on Instagram and stuff before. So I, I don't know if she know, knew of me beforehand. Like, maybe it rang a bell or something you know she probably gets a lot of like messages every day but i was just like man this is so cool it was really nice to, to e-meet her you know it's just like on my computer on at like 10 a.m one morning but it was awesome like that was just the best um ooh, let's see dmg saying i just ordered tables for my lego city man i i don't know what to do about my lego city i i don't know because i just I keep changing things, but then also, like, I don't know if the furniture situation is the right kind of situation for us right now. Like, our tables, they're they are great. You know, they, they look really good. I'm, I'm happy with them, but I almost need more. But I need one that's a little bit smaller because <laughs> there's, like, you know how our, our city is? It's kind of like, you know, kind of like this, right? Like, is, is that a shape? No, that looks like a shape. Yeah, there we go. Kind of looks like that. Boom, and then down. And that middle part we could put so much more stuff there and I just I need I need more space like I, I want to extend it more I think it would look so much better as like one big rectangle but then how do you get to the middle I don't I don't know I don't want to like install a trap door I don't know how to do that that sounds difficult honestly I'm not talented in woodworking or whatever skill set is required for that so yeah I just I'm still trying to figure it out but yeah, it's, it's difficult, you know? Like, there's so many options. Like, every decision in the LEGO City is a decision, you know? Like, every every little thing you're doing, it's an active decision to do something or not to do something, and it's overwhelming. But I'm happy with where it's at so far. I've been doing a lot more updates, so I hope you guys have been liking that. That's That's been a lot of fun. Just, you know, it's kind of like motivation for me if I'm, like, trying to do one city update a week or something. It's like, okay. I need to get something done this week. Let's do it. And because it's so easy to procrastinate, like everything, it's so hard to, I don't know. There's anything, I could do anything else. You know, I can just like sit here and do nothing, but it's like, no, I need to work on the city. Got to do it. So it's, it's been really good. I've enjoyed working on there a lot. Oh, I never watched any Jurassic Park movie. Why? Why not? It's so good. Oh my gosh. No, I love Jurassic Park. I love it. It's so much fun. It's like, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite movie, but it's one of those movies that whenever it's on TV, I'll watch it because it's like, you know, it's just so familiar. It's so fun. You don't really think about watching it. Like if it's Friday night, it's like, I don't know what to watch tonight. I'm not just going to put on Jurassic Park. Like I just wouldn't think about it. But if it's on TV, you know, it's I'm just going to watch it, even though that requires cable and who has cable anymore? You know, kind of an outdated sentence. <laughs> cable. I was going to procrastinate, but I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I love it, Richard. That belongs on some, like, inspirational quote with, like, a tree in the background in an office, you know? Those, like, cheesy inspirational quotes that nobody asked for. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's just perfect for that. Um, Tommy, how are you? It's great to see you, Tommy. Are we going to see you at Brickworld, Tommy? I can't remember if you're going. I, 
feel like you are, but remind me, remind me. Um, I had an idea for your theater to get custom stickers for it to say Muppet Theater. I love that idea, Charles. I, I love that. I, I will try my best to figure that out. Um, I do make custom stickers, like for my Lego City, I have like my members and I finally started working on the stickers again. Like y'all, technology hates me. Like I feel like we know this through all of the problems that happen during my streams. Like it'll just cut out and I'm like, well, I guess that's the end of the stream. Cool. But like, you know, um, like our printer, we just had so much, so many issues with it. So now it's, it's fixed. Like we, we figured it all out. We're good. Stickers are coming. And I think I'm just going to like start doing like sticker streams on Twitch. And apparently there's a way to like, I don't know. Cause like Twitch is owned by Amazon and I have a Twitch. I'm Emma underscore Soros. Emma Soros is taken on every platform. Of course. I didn't think about that before, you know, choosing a name for the channel. So it's a different handle everywhere. That makes it fun and exciting. So I'm, yeah, Emma underscore source on Twitch. Like, come follow me. I want to do streams where I'm like, oh yeah, like, okay. Twitch is owned by Amazon. Amazon Prime is, you know, like Netflix or whatever. It's, you know, you can stream things on it, but SpongeBob is on there. So I'm thinking about doing like SpongeBob streams and just kind of like watching SpongeBob, putting it on and building stickers, building, making stickers, building, I don't know crafting stickers um so yeah stay tuned for stuff like that just to keep it kind of like more fun because it is very like tedious you know it's a lot of like scissors and it's a whole process i made a, i made like a video on it a while back it's nothing crazy really i'm just taking tiles and like taping paper to them but it's like shiny and i, I do my best to make it look nice i don't i don't know how to like actually make stickers i know that's like a real thing I don't know how to do it though. So I've stayed away from it. I don't really know what that involves, but yeah, it sounds a lot of fun, Charles. I am really excited for it. So yeah, SpongeBob streams, come hang. It'll be great. You know, that's, I think that's what the world wants. You know, I think that's what it wants. Oh, Nikki is saying, I really like the Disney princess section in the music park. Thank you. That was, you know, I did it myself. You know, that wasn't Ross, you know, it wasn't. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I think it's looking really cool and it's just something to start with, you know, like I'm trying to do a lot more like set modifications, not really mocks as much. Like I'm just not, I'm not going to go find like a bin of bricks and just be like, let's do this. No, I, I, I'm not there, but I, um, you know, I, I do like modifying the sets like, cause it's something there and I can like make changes to it. And so yeah, that's that's something that I've had a lot of fun with. I don't think I'm that terrible at it either. So that that helps, you know, that's always a good thing. Oh gosh. There's like a tile stuck in this brick and I don't know how to get it out. Help, <laughs> help me. <laughs> you can make the word Muppets out of small tiles. I actually love that too, HQ. That is really good. Um, I've seen that like at Legoland in the, um, oh, what did they call it? The, the mini land kind of area, like the big Lego city stuff. They, um, there it is. <laughs> cool. They have like a lot of that brick built kind of naming system. And I, I love it. It looks so cool. So I do want to try to incorporate stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that, that does look really good. I love that. Oh, Tommy saying, I'm not able to get away for any trips at the moment. Adulting stinks sometimes. I'm hoping to get to do some serious building done this week or next. Yeah. At least like, you know, have some fun. There's also Lego con going on during that. So at least you'll be able to watch it. I don't even know if I'll be able to watch it. I'm going to try to, but it's like the Saturday of brick world, which is kind of like the worst day to do Lego con. Like, I don't, I know they weren't planning around brick world, obviously, like they're not going to do that, but it would have been cool if they did, you know, it's like, man, you know, so I think like they're trying to like rent a room out, um, just to be able to like screen it there. So yeah, we're, we're going to see, we'll see how that goes. I just want to watch it. I loved watching last year and, you know, there was some disappointment, but as long as you keep in mind that like, you know, it's, it's not meant for just a falls as much as it is for families. Like you can't go into it expecting one thing and then being like, Oh, I'm mad that it's not this thing, even though they already said that it's not going to be that thing, you know, enjoy it for what it is. I'm excited for it. Oddish, thank you so much for your support. Sticker placement is intense for me right now. Is it? What are you working on? What are you working on, Oddish? Let me know. Also, where is my, I don't have my Benny. Here, one sec, let me grab my Benny. He's pretty much full, but we will find a spot for you. Let's see, here's this. There we go. Okay. Benny! Doesn't he look 
cute. He's like pretty much there, right? Oh wait, we do have a good spot. There for you, Oddish, right there. Amazing. Eek, okay. Um, how do we want to do this? But yeah, what are you working on, Oddish? You said sticker placement's hard for you. What are you doing? There we go. You were the last one on his head, at least for now. <laughs> I might like squeeze more in there. I haven't made a new one yet, but there you are, Oddish. Eek, there you go. <laughs> yeah, let us know. Here, can we see Benny? He'll just be like kind of creeping in the back. He's just, he's hanging out. He's doing his thing. Couple of brick heads. Hey, hey, working and lurking. Hope to meet you at Brickworld. Yes, I'm super excited to meet you guys. That'll be so much fun. Oh, planning a little something for Friday night pre-party, I heard. And yeah, we will do our best to be a part of that. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I just want to meet everybody and hang out and just, I don't know, put like faces to not even names, like usernames, I guess. It'll be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, I can't wait. A couple of brickheads. That'll be a blast. Just to hang up the boards in the Lego city room. That's actually a really good idea. I was thinking about what to do in there. Cause like, I don't know, like you walk in and it's really cool. Like everything on the tables is awesome. But then you look at the like, oh, I don't know the rest of it. And you're like, well, what is this here? You can look at the, the cool stuff over here. The T-Rex is chasing the Jeep. Yeah action shot um but yeah like all my boards are like you know just ready to be hung and I don't know what to do with them like I I love them I'm never gonna get rid of them but they're just I don't know I just don't know where to put them what to do with them so I do really like that idea um DMG nerdy I understand dinos can be scary they can be scary they can be very scary so man like can you imagine living among dinos like I get scared I get I get pretty scared like what like not like terrified, but it's just like, man, if these things were still alive, I'd be, I don't know, I'd be scared. Or it'd be like Pokemon, you know, we'd like befriend them and they would just be like a part of everyday life, you know? One of the two. We'd either all be dead from dinos or, you know, best friends. One of those. <laughs> Comic JD, oh, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for the $5. I'm excited for the new movie coming out. I also really thinking about buying this set too. Such an iconic scene of the first movie. It really is. And like, it's so much fun, like all the different parts of it. So like, you know, in a lot of display sets, like dioramas, like think about the Star Wars dioramas. It's like a thing and you don't really move it. You just kind of look at it. This one has, you know, like more, I guess like playability or versatility to it where you can take off the dino and you know have it do dino stuff you can take off the jeep and have that go through your lego city dinos taking a nap um like i don't know it's kind of nice to have like all these different aspects to it so it's kind of i don't know that's like my favorite thing from lego right now is like play sets that are also display sets like where is it where's our little there it is okay like this one here the light year set um oh, i hope i don't break it in doing this like it's a perfect play set, but it's also like for display. So it's like perfect for kids. Kids love it. And then, you know, adults love it too. And they love it so much that it's right behind them on their shelf. It's really cute. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope you, I don't know, whether or not you do decide to get this set, it is really fun and it is super iconic. Also really scary. I remember watching this as a kid and being terrified, so. Yeah, it's a fun one. Um, and, oh, wait, you also joined Scooby Snacks. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Here we go, comic. Let's find a good spot for you as well. I don't know where to put you. Oh, no. Um, we'll find it. We'll, we'll figure this out. Okay, I'm just going to write comic somewhat big. Okay, there we go. There we go. I think, I think that's good. So, comic, here you are over here. Wait, where are you? Where did you go? Comic, there you are. Eek. There you go. There you are on our little Benny. Um, check out the Discord link. There's some other perks and benefits as well for Scooby Snacks. So thank you so much for joining. That's awesome. What's your opin opinion on musicals? Perfect. Personally, I love them. I was obsessed with Hamilton for like months. Um, I, I love musicals. It's like so dramatic. Ross is into it too. Like you wouldn't think that Ross would be like into musicals. Like I didn't think he would be. But yeah, he's like the drama and like how passionate people are and like the performance is just, it's incredible. Like I've always been super into musicals. Lickety Brick, hey, hey, welcome. Just popping in to say hi, Emmasaurus. I like all dinosaurs. Me too, dinos are fun. I like dinosaurs a lot. They're just so cool, I don't know. I enjoy this, <laughs> so thanks for being here. 
This is probably the best Lego display set as you could play around with it as well as display it. Exactly, Anne, exactly. Like that's the best part for me is like having that versatility in the Lego sets because a lot of times we don't really get that. So the fact that this is kind of both is really cool. I really enjoy that. Uh, Warren, what's going on? Just building Jurassic Park. Can't wait for Jurassic World next Friday. I know, it's gonna be so good. Also, the new Lego Masters, like, what, pre preview or something? What, whatever came out two days ago. Um, I watched it and it was basically just a long ad for Lego Masters, but also Jurassic World. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I was kind of confused why, you know. It, it was basically just like a long ad for both of those things, Lego Masters and Jurassic World. Chris Pratt was a big part of it. I love Chris Pratt, he's great. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of weird to me how like advertisey it was, but I'm here for it. I can't, I can't wait. There's so much good stuff coming out. I haven't watched the new Kenobi yet, so we're not talking about that, but like Stranger Things has been just, I, you know, I watched an interview and like after season four, I was just like, I, I, I have no words. This was way too good. I, I can't believe they, they did that, like everything. It's just incredible. Great, great show. Um, but yeah, and apparently the next season, you know, part two, season five, it's coming out in a few weeks, I believe. And apparently that's even crazier. And I'm just like, how? I, I don't get it. I, you know, I have no idea how they're gonna top that, but I'm here for it. Can't wait. It'll be good. But yeah, just, I'm obsessed with it. I, <laughs> I love Stranger Things way too much. I remember the first time watching it, I was with Ross, um, you know, this a few years ago, whenever season one came out, and we were supposed to go paddle boarding that day, but he also wanted me to watch, like, episode one of Stranger Things, because, you know, he wanted me to get into it, and I was like, okay, sure, I'll try it. And then, you know, we were supposed to go paddle boarding, like, after that episode, but I was like, I'm watching this whole series right now. Like, we're not, we're not leaving the house. I'm gonna sit here, I'm watching it, I need to know what happens next. So we didn't go bat paddle boarding, he was pretty upset, but... Eh. He's the one that wanted me to watch it. I was like, what, what do you expect? I really liked it. And that's kind of how I got into Lego too. So it worked out. <laughs> Brent Spriggs. Oh, thank you so much for the $2. Can't wait to spend all my money at Brickworld. Honestly, same. I, I've never been to like a garage sale type of thing at conventions before. So I don't really know what to expect, but man, if they have a mystery mansion for a good price, you know I'm buying it. If they have like a minifig lot for a good price, I'm gonna buy it. I'm just, I'm just gonna come with like money. I'm, I've been saving up. I'm ready for it. It's, it's gonna be so much fun, Brent. I can't wait. And also, I'm sure I will see you there. So come say hi if, if you see me around. Like, please, please come say hi. I wanna meet you guys. Um, so yeah, let's get you on here, Brent's Bricks. Where do I put you? Oh, gosh, I need a new board. I'm just gonna write Brent, okay? I'm gonna write Brent. Cause then at least like you can see it, it's still legible, you know? It's like, okay, at least you can, you can still read it. Okay, Brent, here you are. Thank you so much for your support. I can't wait for Brick World. I really can't, that'll be so much fun. We have London Bridge Bricks here, hello, hello. And, oh, let's see, Comic JD, I'm excited for them to drop the BD1 in August too. There's so much new stuff coming. Like, it's it's insane. I can't keep up, <laughs> I really can't. Uh, ben Smith Jr., oh, welcome to Source Nation. It's so great to have you here. All the perks and stuff will be in the membership tab, so check that out, but let's get you on here. Ben Smith, there we go, eek, okay. I do say eek a lot. Someone said that last stream, and now whenever I say it, I'm like, huh, they were right. Uh, ben Smith, there you are. Thank you so much for joining. Um, come hang out on Discord if you haven't already found that link. And yeah, it's so great to have you here. Oh, let's see. If you had to guess how much you spent on Lego, honestly, way too much. Like, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Um, we got Steven Winder here. Welcome, welcome. AG will be in Texas during Brickworld. That's, that's a bummer. Oh no. But, you know, Texas is fun. Have a good time in Texas. J-Bob, member for 14 months. Thank you so much, J-Bob. Fill up Benny. Let's do it. Let's get Benny, Benny there. We pretty much filled him up last time and now I'm just like, I didn't make a new one. So I gotta make room. I'm making room for, for y'all. J-Bob, here we go. I'm just gonna write J-Bob. I feel like, you know, that way you can actually see the whole name. You know, I feel like that's important. Okay, J-Bob, there you are. Eek. <laughs> um, is that Mike? What's going on, Mike? Welcome, welcome. Been cleaning today. Just one of those days, yep. 
Well, that's good. You're getting something done. You know, it's, I'm, I don't know. Cleaning days are kind of like whatever, but it feels good afterwards. You're just like in, in your zen. Like I cleaned up my Lego room recently. I just have so much stuff, you know, like it's just so much stuff and like loose pieces. So I have to like go through and clean and usually I just shove stuff on the shelves over there when I'm done. I need to do a room tour. I've been talking about doing one since like October. <laughs> Oops. Um, so yeah, it's, we'll, we'll make that happen at some point. I just, I don't know, I, I want it to be good. I want to do it right. I want to do like MTV crib style thing, but I don't really know how to do that. And it sounds hard and I've actually never, never seen MTV cribs. So I don't really know what that looks like, but it's, yeah, I want to do it. I want it to be cool. Um, London Bridge, oh, thank you. London Bridge Bricks has been a member for 10 months. That's wild. That's wild, Greg. Oh man, well thank you so much for hanging out with us for so long, that is awesome. And yeah, it's always great to have you here, Greg. You really are a light in the community. Let's see, but where do I put you? I feel like the sorting hat, but where to place you? Or, you know, what's that quote from Harry Potter? <laughs> something, it's something like that. Okay, I'm gonna do LBB, cause otherwise it'll be illegible. <laughs> okay, here we are, here we are, LBB. B. There it is. I'll be me. Let bridge bricks. Woo. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, everyone's saying hey to each other. I love it. Um, and then let's see. Oh, Rising Underdog. Thank you. Good day, so uh, Jurassic Saurus. Listening to you as I clean my room. I do that too. I was doing that earlier, like tuning in the streams. It's, I don't know. It's fun. It's like a podcast. So you get to listen to the sound of my voice while you clean your room. Sorry. <laughs> it's a disaster at the moment and I want to build my new brick heads shelf only on episode three of New Stranger Things season, but loving it. It's so good, isn't it? Man, I just, uh, I wanted to build the Stranger Things set today, but then I was like, you know what? I don't think I can because like Ross is, you know, on his business trip doing business stuff, well, whatever. And like, I know he would want to build that with me. We've been holding on to it, but I like, I want to build it so bad. So. We'll get to it. We'll get to it at some point. Rising, I don't, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know where to put you. Um, I'm gonna put R, U. I think that's, that's a good one. R, U, but you're also like right next to your full name. So I feel like that's fair. I feel like that's, you know, so R, U, but then like right next to it's Rising Underdog. And you're on there, up somewhere there too. So I got you on here. Don't worry, Rising, don't worry. But yeah, Stranger Things, obsessed with it. It's so good, so, so good. And then Mike as well, thank you so much for your support, Mike, for the $20 Brick World Hive. I know, I can't wait. It's gonna be so great to meet you guys. I literally like, I can't wait. I'm, yeah, can't wait. <laughs> Time to make a new cardboard statue. Optimus Prime is my vote or Autobot symbol. I love that. I should have thought about that like leading up to Transformers cause that would have been really fun for that stream, but I don't plan ahead very well, so. Yeah, that didn't happen, <laughs> but thank you again, Mike, so much. I'm really excited to meet you and it's it's gonna be a blast. Brickworld hype indeed. I can't wait, I really can't. Um, okay, here, let's let's try this. Mike. It's a little bit illegible, but you're on here. You're <laughs> you're definitely on here, Mike. Um, where are you? Okay, other side, other side of like Mike Prime. That's you, that's you. <laughs> There we go. Thank you so much, Mike. And yeah, I do need a new one. Optimus Prime. I don't know if that one will happen, but what else is coming out soon? I don't know. I could do a roller coaster. That could be kind of cool, but this also sounds kind of hard. I try to pick ones that I'm actually able to do because otherwise it won't look like anything. So that can't happen either. It has to actually like, I don't want people to be like, what is that supposed to be? It's like supposed to be like, yeah, it's obviously Benny, you know? So doing my best. I'm not an artist, but I try. <laughs> I'd vote for a roller coaster on the next board. I do like that, Brian. I do like that. I like that a lot. Um, oh gosh, where is this supposed to go? I think I got them all. I think I did. Did I? Yep. Cool. Moving on. Oh gosh, leaving a mark. I love like the little details in the instructions. So it'll give you, uh, so it says leaving a mark. I'm not gonna pretend to read that from the screen. <laughs> Let's see. Um, as a terrified Dr. Grant and Lex cower and desperately try to remain still and quiet, the T-Rex stamps its foot down into the mud, creating giant footprints. So it's like a recap of the movie. You don't have to rewatch the movie, you just build the set and you're like, oh yeah, I remember that. That's pretty cool. Oh man, okay, so that's, 
this here. Am I getting this right? I don't know. We'll find out. If there's anything left over at the end, that's how I know if I've done it right. Oh, a Harry Potter board. That could be cool too. So, chat. Let me know your thoughts on the roller coaster. Like, do we love it? I feel like I feel like everyone likes it. You know, I, I you know, reading through my comments, I, I didn't really see anyone that was like, this is the worst set Lego's ever done. Like, if you think that, that's that's fine. You you can think that, but you're wrong. <laughs> like, it's good. It's so cool. Like, you know, I, I, I made like the joke at the beginning of my video where it was like, you know, it was at the, I don't know, the Met Gala or something. And two of the girls that were there were like, you know, just <laughs> being ridiculous, I guess. They were like, I gasped when I saw your outfits. Like, you did not gasp. I gasped. And it was like, what is happening? But I was like, you know, this is so funny. And it's like perfect because I actually did gasp when I saw the set. I was just like, like... You know when everything inside you is just like, oh my gosh, and like you're shaking, you're just like the adrenaline just from how cool this is, like that's what I was feeling. Like, it was insane. So that roller coaster, it is so good, so good. I love it, but need to save for the coaster. Yeah, the coaster, it's incredible. It was so good. Um, boss man, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Um, ooh, Brian's saying you could detail the tracks with one pen color and names on the edges and sideways for the support between the rails. That could be kind of cool too. That could be cool. I'll see what I can do. My artistic skills are limited to none, but we'll do our best. A ladybird, that could be cute. Like a skyline, that could be kind of cute. Or like even the modulars, like Claire from The Plastic Architect, she does like all of the different, um, like she makes stickers and it's of the different modulars. She doesn't call them the modulars, so she doesn't get sued. But like, it's like, oh, you know, if it's the boutique hotel, it's like beautiful, I don't know, European hotel, you know, call it something different. But like, they look so good and you can, um, you know, it's like just stickers, like designed stickers of all the modulars. So I don't know, check her out if you haven't. Her stickers are cool. We ordered some, they're awesome. I haven't actually opened them yet because I want to make content on it, but it's been two months, so. I'll get, I'll get to it. It's, you know, we're busy, but <laughs> they do look really cool. So something like that could be kind of neat, like different modulars, make them kind of small, you know, just eventually have a skyline, but of, you know, colored in foam boards. I, I like that idea. That could be kind of neat. Um, oh, rising underdog. Thank you so much for the $5 again. Also congrats on sitting down with Amy. I love Amy. She was so cool. <laughs> Only 60% done with my, um, ST set, ST set, ST, ST, ST. Stranger Things, Stranger Things. I was like, what's ST? Um, if you haven't seen Top Gun Maverick yet, totally recommend it. Seen it three times now, didn't it like just come out? <laughs> seen it three times already, that's crazy. Yeah, I do wanna watch it. My mom said it was great. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm on board. That could be pretty cool. So yeah, I, I do wanna watch it. I don't know, and I love our movie theaters here. Like they're actually really, fun to go to like sometimes movie theaters just feel kind of like weird or i don't know like the food's not great at our theaters here it's like really good food um where where did i just put you there we go are you rising underdog there you are thank you so much rising man i can't believe you see it three times though that's crazy to me man but yeah stranger things Whew, that was a good one so good loved it um, did I do this right? I think it looks good. I think we're good? Yep, we're good so far. So we're almost done with bag seven. About to start bag, no, yeah, eight. Bag eight and then bag nine. So we have two more bags after this. We are so close, y'all. It's gonna look so good when it's done. And again, I just love the versatility of it. It just, it looks incredible. Gonna go watch Obi-Wan and have a good stream. Oh, that sounds good, comic. Thank you so much for coming and joining today. Um, yeah, have fun. I can't wait to watch Obi-Wan. I can't watch it till Ross gets home tomorrow, so. Shame on Ross. <laughs> yeah, you know, of course he has to go do businessy things somewhere else. Yeah, when Obi-Wan comes out. Lame. <laughs> Come back, Ross. Come back. Um, Top Gun was really good. Just enough of the original story. I love that. That's really nice when like a remake kind of thing, like a reboot is actually good and the fans love it. Like that's, that's kind of rare, you know? So I'm glad that that actually happened. You know, people really liked it. That's awesome. Oh, uh, let's see. 
Um, oh, I like the loop coaster. The track is kind of short and it's pretty expensive. It is very expensive. Like, because the old one, I think it was 350. How much did the red one retail for? Was it 300? 350? It was like three something, I think. I don't remember exactly. I don't remember. It was forever ago, but yeah. Also, I want to make a video. So like, you know, Ross always really liked the, um, the, not Friendship Treehouse, the Lego Ideas Treehouse. And I like it too. It's, it's a great set. It, it's, you know, it's beautiful, but he always really liked it. And I didn't really know why, but then we started talking about it more. I was like, oh yeah, that is right. So like, I mean, I've talked about this before, but you know, He's like pretty, sh so Elijah Wood lives in Austin, or at least he has a home in Austin. I don't know if he's like here all the time, probably not. But like Ross is convinced that like Elijah Wood was in front of us at the Lego store. This is like mid 2020. So we got to the Lego store like five minutes before they opened or maybe 10 minutes before they opened. And someone, like we were walking to the front of the store and then um, this like young kind of short dude was youngish, like he, he, he wasn't like, five but you know youngish um like got right in front of us he got there like 10 seconds before us and so we were like okay cool like we're second in line i see that they have the front not friendship treehouse the lego ideas treehouse in stock we're good we're gonna get it like we went to the lego store that day to get that set so we were like okay cool like they at least have one and then he was just sitting there talking like oh what are you guys into and we were like oh like you know just here to kind of look um but he was like oh yeah i'm like looking at the the tree house maybe that one the modular like these just look so cool and we were like oh okay and he's like oh like what are you for and we we're like oh well the tree house but that's okay and he's like oh you can have it like i'll just get something else and like it seemed like money was no object to him he was just gonna get whatever he wanted and ross is like you know i didn't think of it at all ever but ross is still like very convinced that that was elijah wood he was like yeah he had piercing blue eyes and he was so nice and you know <laughs> there we go and like you know doing well like he was just like yeah i'm just gonna get whatever i want today <laughs> but yeah he was super nice so i want to make like a video about that at some point because like ross is like so convinced like in his mind he's like that was 100 percent elijah wood and also like why would you know we were wearing masks so you couldn't really tell but also it's like who else goes to the lego store that early that we've never seen you know like we were enough in the know with Lego at that point that we were like, okay, like we do recognize most people, but we don't know this guy. So he's convinced. I don't know. I'm not convinced. I, I think it was just some, some guy, honestly, but maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Maybe I'll just make Ross make a video about it at some point. Cause he's convinced. He's like, he like swears by it. He's like, that was Elijah Wood. We got that set because of Elijah Wood. He was nice enough to let us have that one that day. Like he didn't buy it for us, but he, he just didn't buy it. After we were like, oh, we, we want that one. Like, you know, we were gonna let him buy it. You know, we, we weren't like, why is he buying? You know, we, we weren't like making a scene or anything. It was just like, oh, like, okay. Like we were here for the treehouse, but you know, that's okay. And he's like, oh no, you get it. I'm like, oh, okay. Ah. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty convinced. I don't know if he's even into Lego. I tried looking it up and he was just holding a Hobbit set. So I'm like, that doesn't count. He was maybe like paid to do that. I don't know. I don't know if he actually likes it. So we'll see. Is there anything moment with the backlights? I know, right? I was just like, my like little <laughs> light remote is over here. We have like, you can flash the colors. You can do like the fade the colors. It's just kind of fun. I'll leave it like that for like, 20 seconds and then change it back when you guys <laughs> get annoyed by it or if you guys really like it I can leave it I usually don't do it like that in videos because you know like I do cuts you know so it would be like it would look kind of weird you know just very abrupt like different colors for cuts if it's just like fading so I usually don't do that when I'm filming videos you should make an eek board next eek. <laughs> just like make a line of merch and it'll just say eek on it eek sets on the table eek and mini pigs, but like in song form somehow written. That'd be great. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, Matt, what's going on? I'm going to Houston and Austin this summer for a wedding and I have plans to visit Bricks and Mini Figs. Um, it'll be my first time ever since I lived in New York. Planning to leave the store empty. <laughs> no, don't take everything. No, that's fine. Um, that's so exciting, man. Yeah, I mean, Austin, there's so much to do here. It's like, 
it's honestly so much fun. Like, it's a really great city. The food is good. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. I hope you have a good time here. And to break some minifigs there, tell them that you heard about the store from me. They like to hear that. It makes them happy. It makes me happy. And it also, like, helps me out because then I'm like, hey, look, it's working. You know, like, I'm, I'm partnered with them. So it's nice. It's nice when people go there and they're like, oh, I heard about you from Emily. It's like, thanks. <laughs> it really does help me. So thanks. The eek lives on. Eek. <laughs> Thanks for, like, being here and, like, un I don't know, just, like, part participating in, like, the weirdness that is this channel. I'm just doing my thing and I'm just thrilled that there's, like, 120 people here just hanging out with me. Like, that's the coolest thing ever. I'm just building Lego, you know? I, I would just be building this alone, so. I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me today. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, let's see. Leah, Severn, love the lights. They're fun. Okay, I, I think I'll leave them. They're still going, right? Ooh, it's like red. I saw Stranger Things on Netflix. Oh, good. Oh, what's going on, Gary? Hello, hello. Welcome. Oh, let's see. Which sticker I own? Which sticker is this? Oh, it's printed? Oh, no, it's not. That's not... What? I don't... This is weird. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm kind of dumb. So, <laughs> I, um, this, okay, look at this here. Oh gosh, can you see that sticker? It looks like it says Ion, right? Maybe you can't tell, I don't know. But it looks like it says Ion. And I thought it, I thought it said Ion. It actually says no with an exclamation point. And I was looking at my stickers and I was like, this is a misprint, I don't have the right sticker. <laughs> huh. Oops. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Okay, here we go. Well, you win some, you lose some. Womp womp. Oh, uh, Joseph T. I'm ever for two months. Thank you so much, Joseph. Hi, Emily. I finally b visited Bricks and Minifigs. Oh, awesome. Which location did you go to? Did you go to Austin or um, like a different one? They have them pretty much all over the country. So let me know. I am going up to um, Chicago for, for Brickworld and I'll be going to the Crest Hill one um early next week i can't wait i'm so excited um it's just always fun like checking out the different stores because they are all different you know it's, it's a franchise so it's not like i don't know the same thing everywhere like some of it's the same like the branding's kind of the same but how they run the store is all totally different so i'm just excited and it'll be a lot of fun and yeah just like meeting more people too and it'll be great i'm really excited ag is saying since you live in austin have you ever been to port aransas i actually haven't um no, I actually never have. I I think it's like, what, people go for like spring break and stuff like that. I've just never been there. How's the Prime set coming? Um, Optimus Prime is finished. We finished it in one stream. I didn't think that that would happen. So yeah, that was, that was kind of crazy. I was kind of shocked by that. Um, but yeah, it actually like worked out well. Um, and I love the build. It's so cool. It actually transforms like that's awesome. That's so exciting. There aren't really any bricks and minifigs in the Northeast, unfortunately. I actually have heard that, like, in the D.C. area. Um, like, some of my friends have been talking about, you know, pretty much that. Like, there's really nothing there. So it's, I guess it is, like, an opportunity, almost. Like, the market's available. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not everywhere. And people definitely tell me that in comments. They're like, I don't live near one. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I wish you did. I'm sorry. But, yeah, it's it's just fun. We like going. It's a good time. Going to watch Jurassic World Dominion tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. That's awesome, Danny. Have so much fun with that. That's that's super exciting. I can't wait to watch it soon. Again, like, Ross is out of town. Business, whatever. So, yeah. I don't get to... I, it's, like, almost annoying because there's so many shows I want to watch. Like, all these different TV shows that we're working on that, like, came out over the last week or two. And I can't watch any of them because he's not here. And I, I like called him because I was about to watch a show and I'm like, we watched this together, but he's gone. He was like, do not watch that. <laughs> I was like, ah, okay, fine, fine. Um, oh, Gary here just saying, um, just started collecting Lego. Didn't realize that Legos, especially the UCS are so extensive, but amazingly fun to put together. Yeah, I mean, the Falcon is 800, ATAT is 800, dots are extra. <laughs> but I mean, you, you can't have an ATAT and not dot it, obviously, like, Duh. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it is quite pricey, Gary, but 
I mean, also just keep in mind, like, if you ever do change your mind about, like, the set, like, oh, I don't really want it anymore. It's, you know, this doesn't bring me joy. You can, you can sell it. You know, you can always sell it later. So, you know, it's, you can almost treat it like an investment in that sense. Like, you know, it's not just wasted money. You can always get it back later if you want to. Uh, what do you think about the Obi-Wan show and the new Lego set coming? So that set that was revealed, the, what, Obi-Wan um, versus Anakin dual set. I don't like it. It looks like a mock. It, I don't know. I mean, it's it might be better in person. And also, like, every, I don't know, every time a new Star Wars set is revealed, everyone hates it. Everyone's, like, mad and making all these videos with the thumbnail just saying bad in, like, huge red letters. And you're like, okay, I guess everyone hates it. But then, like different photos come out or like you know it's finally re released and like everyone buys it or you know like oh actually that's not that bad and that happens pretty often like the republic fighter tank i think it's cool it's also constantly sold out the clones are great like it's just it's a cool set like i really like it but when it was first revealed everyone hated it so i don't know star wars fans love to be really upset about things and that's fine you know like that's that's totally cool like you you know it's that's kind of like part of it almost but I don't know. For me, I don't really care for it. I'm not gonna get it, but Ross might want it for, I don't know, figures or something. I didn't really look at the figures to see if they're new. I just looked at it, I was like, eh, not for me, but cool. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. If Ross wants it, he can get it. Like, I'm not gonna stop him from that or anything, but for me, it's just kind of like whatever. I don't, I don't really care too much for it. They say it's bad, then everyone gets it. Exactly! Like, that's what always happens, J-Bob. And so you're like, so was it that bad? Like, you know, it's, that's usually how it goes. So it's like, okay, well, you know, everyone can enjoy it in their own way. And you can enjoy it by hating on it, I guess. I'm, I'm sure that's, <laughs> that's a thing. Um, but yeah, that set, as of right now, I just don't care. I mean, it's same with the dioramas, or is that, yeah, the Star Wars dioramas. Like, we got the, um... Oh, uh, Dagobah. We got that one. That's cool, but... Wait, did I do this right? No. Uh, what is happening? Oh, there we go. But we haven't built it. Like, really, we just kind of bought it because we had to get to, like, that threshold for May to 4th. So we were like, well, I guess we'll get this, you know? Cool. So, kind of, you know, not super into it. It might just sit on our, our shelves for a while. We might gift it at some point. That's kind of what we've been doing lately is like all the botanicals, we just have like a backlog of them. And so whenever I need a gift, like, I mean, it's, it's still like thoughtful and it's something fun. Usually like I don't give it to someone that I know that they wouldn't like it. But if it, it's the kind of thing I would pretty much give for most types of gifts, like birthday presents and stuff. Cause a lot of my friends don't buy Lego. Like a lot of my friends don't even know I do this. <laughs> so <laughs> we're kind of starting there for most people. Um, and so I get them something a little bit different and usually they're like, wow, this is so cool. Like, what is this? You know, like I've, I've never had something like this. So it, it makes it kind of fun like that. I really enjoy that. Um, oh, let's see. Love and Thunder's coming out July 8th. Oh my God, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. Um, Gary's saying, just drop by, by to say hi. Take care, be well. You too, Gary. You too. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you stopping by today. Uh, and let's see. Dot the SP3, I think not. Wait, what's SP3? SP, SP3. S I don't know what SP3 is, Scott. I don't know what that is. Um, there's nothing Lego store-ish within two and a half hours of where I live. That's a bummer, man. And it makes me sad. I, I wish that there was, you know? Wait, what is happening here? Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. I was like, this isn't lining up. And it's because I didn't build it right. Makes sense, that's that's kind of what we expect here, right? Something will be wrong and then I'll just leave it and tell Ross about it later and he'll be upset, like, why didn't you fix this? It's all good. Oh gosh, there we go. So yeah, what am I on right now? We have one more bag after that and the, and the last bag is another Jeep. I'm just gonna call it, I don't know. I'm, it's a Jeep, it's a Jeep, <laughs> it's a Jeep. It's a Ford Explorer, but it's, it's the Jeep. I don't know, I'm gonna call it a Jeep. I have two of the three Star Wars dioramas, just missing the trash compactor. I mean, they do look really nice, but I feel like, you know, the dioramas and a lot of what Lego's been doing lately, 
it seems like it's more so to get new people into it. You know, like, the dioramas. I feel like, you know, if you're not into Lego at all, you probably wouldn't get this. But if, like, you're into Star Wars and you've never had Lego, that's something kind of cool. You know, you can take it to work, you can have it at home and not feel, like, embarrassed about, like, I don't know, being 40 and having a Lego set. Like, I don't think it's embarrassing, but, you know, like, that's kind of like a stereotype is like, oh, it's embarrassing to do Lego if you're an adult. I, you know, obviously I disagree with that, but it's, it's a thing, you know, some people are, are kind of self-conscious about it and that's, that's fine, you know, but like, I don't know. It's, it's like something to get new audiences into it. So a lot of people who are Lego fans, A-Falls, they're not into it. And I feel like that's okay. You know, like you don't need to love everything that comes out. Like, you know, with Star Wars, it's so diverse. And like, I've made a video about this before. It wasn't just Star Wars, it was just kind of Lego in general. Cause they have such a wide range of sets that they do for pretty much everybody. Like their market is literally everyone. And there's something in the store for everyone from babies, literally Duplo is for, you know, small, small children. Or, you know, me, cause I liked the red panda Duplo. So, you know, whatever. And then there's, you know, four plus for, you know, getting your, like the transition phase from like Duplo into real Lego. Can I say that? Real Lego? I feel like I can. And then, you know, it's more of like the six plus and play sets and, you know, that kind of thing. And then, you know, you, you kind of get more and more into it and then there's like adult sets now. And so it's, there's stuff there for pretty much anybody. And I don't know how they are gonna keep it up, you know, cause it's, you know, when your market is everybody, that's so difficult, right? Cause like someone's gonna be upset all the time and, you know, a new set comes out and it's not for you. It's it's too kiddy or too adult or something. And so it is, you know, it's tough. Like their their market is everybody. Like how do you handle that? So it's kind of kind of interesting in that sense. But I don't know. It's it's been neat kind of seeing that change because I pretty much like got into Lego during that change. Like I'm a product of their recent marketing. You know, I I don't really care for the play sets. Playability doesn't really do anything for me. Like I care more now. I feel like at first I was like, I don't care about playing with this. Like I just want a mystery machine and I think it looks cool. I forgot my lights were changing. I was like, why are they green? Okay, we're good. <laughs> I was just like, what is happening? Um, you know, but now I'm like, oh cool. Like I built a friend set yesterday and I was like, this is cute. It's like a chicken coop. And then you turn the thing and like the eggs fall out. And you're like, that's cute. I like that. Okay, that was fun. But you know, I, I don't buy a set because of like stud shooters or whatever. Like. I don't care about that. That's that's not something I think about. So it's just kind of interesting, you know, different people. The market is just everybody and it's it's insane. It's crazy and I'm excited to see where it goes. It's, you know, yeah, it's crazy. Um, Clifford Barnes, thank you so much for your support for the $10. Thank you. Good afternoon. Do you know when the Harry Potter Oh, um, oh, do you know when the Harry Potter build your own castle bags are coming out? Chat, help. <laughs> Chat, when did the new bags come out? Please help. I don't know, Clifford. I really, I really don't know. Um, I would assume when the rest of the wave comes out, I believe that's June 19th or 23rd or something like that. Um, but no, I don't know. Chat, help. <laughs> Answer Clifford's question. I, I really have no idea. I don't keep up with like if I'm not planning on buying something, then I really don't keep up with when it's gonna come out. Um, but I know someone in chat will know. Chat is like an all knowing being, I feel like. Whenever I need something answered, I'm just like, and there, you know, 40 people will be like, it's this. I'm like, thank you, thank you. So yeah, please help someone, help. I don't know, I don't know. I can look it up maybe, but I'm scared to change anything I think my stream would break <laughs> oh they're already out on the shelves I saw them the other day maybe they are out are they are they actually out already I didn't, I didn't know that okay Clifford here you are you are around the planet thing this is you up there that's you Clifford there you are <laughs> thank you so much Clifford yeah it looks like I guess they're already out um I don't know that's what it looks like at least it looks like they're already out. Um, oh, this is cool. Oh, it looks so good. But yeah, those do look really neat. Build your own castle. It's like the little poly bags, right? Like, I think that's what you're referring to. Like, they're tiny little poly bags and you can combine them and make your own like micro build castle. And it's really neat. Like, it's, it's a really cool concept and it's actually like a reason to go out and buy poly bags. Like, most of the time poly bags are like, 
I just think of them as like, you know, like a goodie bag kind of thing, like a little extra gift. Like it's not something that I go out of my way to buy, but those are actually really cool. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited for those. I'm excited to see what people come up with with them. Must not be in the US. Oh, maybe not. Is it not? I guess nobody knows. Yeah, sorry, Clifford. <laughs> I I don't know what's happening and I don't think chat does either. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what's up with that. Sorry. Uh. Um, anyone else excited for the rumored Hogwarts train? I am pumped, so pumped. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's, it's the kind of thing like, I don't know where I would put it, but man, would that be cool. Like that would look so good anywhere. Like even just on display, you know? Gosh, yeah. I mean, I, I want to see it first. Like, you know, I don't even like, yeah, I haven't seen anything. I've like seen like the text leaks, you know, but also I don't really trust them. I don't know. I don't really trust any like leak information because it's usually wrong. And then I'm like kind of bummed out because I'm like, oh man, it's not real. Darn it. So I don't always trust it, but it's nice kind of hearing the rumors that it is coming. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, PB, what's going on? Love your build streams. Thanks. Did you end up finishing the Optimus Prime? I did. I did finish it. It's hanging out over there. And I was thinking about doing, um, like, my, my dad actually had a really cool suggestion. Having, like, for the new roller coaster, having Optimus, like, somehow be the motor for it. And, like, standing there kind of, like, making it go. I'm like, that's that's kind of creative. Like, that's really neat. So I might try to do that. That could be kind of cool. But I don't have any, like, plans to make that happen yet. But it was a really fun build. Um, I'm, oh, Brian saying, I wonder if it's going to be a gift with purchase, like the study desk. Show up at Target for sale, then be given for free while still at Target for $5. Yeah, I remember that. That's kind of a bummer. Like, the um, that happened with the Imperial Shuttle, like the little one too, I think. Like, that was kind of a big deal when it came out and then... It was kind of like whatever. Um, Oddish, thank you so much for your support. Just finished the Hydra Stomper. Oh, how'd you like it, Oddish? Was it a fun build? Man. Yeah, we haven't really bought anything Marvel lately. Like the new Hall of Hall of Armor set. I think that's out already, right? I think it came out. We haven't bought it yet, but like we want to. It looks really good. Um, and it's just kind of nice for displaying minifigs. Like I would love to have like a hundred of those things. And then like put all my Scooby stuff in them, you know, and just bother Ross with that. I don't know, it's it's always kind of fun just, you know, mixing two things that seem weird. Oh, where are you, Oddish? There you are. There we go. Down there, Oddish. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support, Oddish. It really does mean the world. So many stickers. I know. So many stickers. Yeah, not a fan of stickers. That was on my questions list for, um, you know, the LEGO Masters judges yesterday, Amy and Jamie, because, like, you know, it's just, like, a fun kind of question if there's time at the end, like, stickers or printed elements and I didn't have time to ask it and you know it's the kind of thing like I'm not gonna like reach out and be like by the way my last question is if you like stickers like I'm not gonna do that so kind of bummed that you know I, I, I had like 30 questions and you know I, I only had time for like five of them and I was like no I want to ask them everything I had like so many questions like I just want to like hang out with them they seem so cool and they're just you know they're normal people you know they just work at Lego and they're just on a show, you know, it's, they're normal. So I'm like, oh man, they just seem so cool. I just, I want to be their friend. <laughs> I want to hang out with them. Ooh, Scott saying the Hogwarts Express. Um, oh, it's not, but <laughs> it's not. It is not. I wish. I wish it was. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh, well, let's see. Better have a loop for that money. <laughs> the Hogwarts train, can you imagine? Can you imagine if I had a loop? That'd be wild. That'd be absolutely wild. Man. <laughs> it won't have a loop, sorry. I thought I missed the stream, it just woke up. Oh, what's going on, Steven? Hello, you did not miss it. Clearly, we're, we're still going, going strong. We're almost done with bag eight, and we have one more bag, but it's like the last car, so. We're doing good, we're doing good. I'm, I'm excited for this set. It's, it's just, it just looks so fun. We have our dino chasing the Jeep over here, just like an action shot on stream for you guys, you know. Keeps it fun. <laughs> they're just, they're, they're pretty cool. I like this. Say no to stickers. <laughs> that would be like the funniest shirt ever. Like, you know, like the dare shirts, but stickers. I, I don't know, nostalgia, that. One of my friends like still has the dare shirt and I'm just like, how do you still have this? Like, 
we got them in like what third grade or something how do you still fit in this you were a child <laughs> like what I, I i grew up very very big i think like i mean i've always been a little bit taller than normal but i'm like i'm 5'10 i feel like i've like said that a lot now so it's like not as surprising to people but at first like actually it was like my review of the lego friends apartments when that came out last year in february or yeah last year in february it was like mid-month or something weird but i got it i built it i reviewed it and at the end of the review i was showing how it fit on the billy bookcases because i was like this thing's kind of big like where are you gonna put this and during that i was like hey by the way just for scale like i'm 5'10 but looking up from like where i'm at you can see this and like none of the comments were even about the set it was just like you're 5'10 <laughs> i was like oh huh is this is this the content you want <laughs> like okay i'm 5'10 so yeah, me and Ross, like, I guess people don't expect it because, you know, I'm a lot shorter than Ross, but like Ross is 6'4". He's, he's a big dude. So yeah, keeps, keeps them on their toes. They're like, wait, you guys are tall. So eee. we're tall people. It's, it's fun. I don't know. It's whatever, honestly. Um, she Hulk is coming out August 17th. There's so much new stuff coming. I can't keep up and like all the traveling going on and I just want to watch all our shows like as soon as possible and then Ross decides to travel and do, you know, business stuff and it's like, ah, I want to watch Kenobi so bad. You know what's like sad though? Like after watching like any new show, I'm like immediately sad because it's like, now I have to wait another whole week for the next episode and I like need to know what's happening next and I just sit there like mad because I'm like, I need to watch it. Like I want to see what happens next and... They're so good at that. Like Netflix, especially Stranger Things, they are so good. It's just one long movie and they stop it at the most suspense, like suspenseful part. And then they're like, you can continue watching for another hour, which you probably will, or you can stop and wonder what's gonna happen next. And it's like, ah, oh, fine, fine, I'll watch it, fine. I'm tall, not sure it's a blessing. <laughs> not good for airplanes, that's, that's for sure. I was also blessed with height. <laughs> not always a great thing, but. I don't know. It's good for like concerts. <laughs> Is there a set you're really looking forward to right now? The roller coaster, five billion percent. I need that set so badly. Like it looks so good. I've already started planning where it's gonna go in the city. So be be prepared, y'all. There is content coming on that, and it's not gonna stop. There's just all the videos. I'm gonna make all the videos about that set. It's just so cool. It has a loop. Cause me and Ross actually tried to do like a loop coaster. Like we, we tried playing around with that at some point and it was hard and we were like, I don't think this is possible. And so it, it looks like there's new um, new elements in there, like for the tracks. Cause we've, we've tried it before and the tracks don't really work like that. So I'm like, they've, they've gotta be new elements, right? Like, I don't know how they did that. If they did it without new elements, then <laughs> even more impressed, but man, I mean, it just, opens the doors for like way more creativity with roller coasters in the future and i'm just really looking forward to that and you say my soon to be wife saturday is your wedding on saturday oh congratulations that's so exciting have a good wedding oh have so much fun that's awesome you're both 510 ish well that's that's good that's good i don't know like it's always kind of fun like you know i i remember like some of our friends they're you know, it's nothing, nothing wrong with it, but it's just kind of fun seeing like a couple and one of them's like six, four and one of them's like five foot tall. And you're just like, <laughs> they just, you know, it looks so interesting, but it's like, oh, good for them. That's perfect. Oh, is that Mr. Saurus? Ross, you're not here to watch Kenobi with me. <laughs> Come home. Say hi to Ross, everyone. He's doing, he's Mr. Business this week. So doing all those businessy things. Somewhere where we can't watch Kenobi together. <laughs> well, I'm sad about it. Come home, Ross. I want to watch Kenobi. Where's this piece? Oh man, I cannot find what I'm looking for. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Aww, everyone's saying hi to Ross. I love that, like, you know, like in kindergarten, it's like, oh, say hi, Mr. Soros. And then, like, all the kids are like, hi, Mr. S you know, it's. That's, that's what I'm going for. And y'all, y'all were perfect. <laughs> oh, I put the wrong piece. Oh no. Oh, no, I didn't. We're good. We're good. Whew. And, oh, is that Talk Briggs? What's going on, Talk Briggs? Love that Mr. Soros is watching while traveling. He's so supportive. Oh, 
best dog mom. <laughs> Emily misses you. I do. I miss Ross. I miss him. Come home. You were the chosen one to watch Kenobi. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is cool. So these little, let me show you guys the, the, this part of the build. Well, I guess you can see it in the instructions. Um, so the pieces on the top there, like the blue and orange things, those are like the lights. I didn't realize that at first. I was like, what are these? But yeah, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Ross is heading to K&B store, which is a Lego reseller. If they have the Mystery Mansion from Scooby, can you get it for me? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Please. I really want a new in-box Mystery Mansion. That's like just something I really want in my collection and I would probably build it, you know? I would probably build it, but I just, I, I want it because I bought it used and you know, that was just like the best option at the time. We got a great deal. It was used with all the figures for 130 two years ago. And that's just perfect. You know, it was, it was really cheap. It was, you know, a good deal for it, but it just wasn't complete. Like all the pieces were not there. And you know, it's like one of my favorite sets are my favorite themes. And I just really want a new inbox version. So that's been on my mind lately. Also like anything toy story, my gosh, like the, um, Oh, what is it? Like the Pizza Planet truck? Need it. I need it so, like, I want that set so badly. So, there's a lot of things on my list now that I didn't really think about before, but, like, you know, I, I have the Mystery Mansion, so I don't need it, but it's, like, it's, you know, it's my favorite set, and I don't even have it, like, complete, so I think I just want, like, a new inbox one. I think that would be fun. I want that. <laughs> Should write, I miss Ross with dots on the Falcon. <laughs> That'll get his attention, yeah. <laughs> Aw. Oh, Brian wants you to vlog while you're there, Ross. I don't know if you're still here, but you should vlog. Ross actually vlogged the other day and he just like sent it to me, him and his friend in San Antonio. Um, they were going Lego shopping at Bricks and Minifigs and Ross just like had the phone and he's like, so I'm here with uh, this guy. He like turns it to his friend and he was like, what are you doing? I was like, I don't know, I'm doing it for Emily. It was like the weirdest vlog I ever saw, but you know, he did it for me. I was like, that's so sweet. How to get Ross home quickly. <laughs> yeah, Dot the Falcon, that'll do it. <laughs> oh yes. He would not be happy. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, not gonna do that. <laughs> he would not be happy about that. Um, gosh, is this where it goes? Oh gosh. Oh, there it is. Okay. 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 I'm getting there. This is cute. I just need Velma. Velma's, yeah, I mean, she's great, but man, she's like, what, a hundred bucks now? It's like a hundred, right? I think it's a hundred. Maybe more. I don't know. This is crazy. On the road with Ross, for some mini big tour. <laughs> yeah. It's just so fun. Like, you know, because, you know, he's... I love like watching the vlogs back and editing because of him. Like I just love watching that. Um, but it's just so I don't know. It's fun like seeing him actually like doing the that part of it. I guess like the filming because he you know he he's not used to that. He's you know I'm the one doing the filming, so he's just kind of there. But you know he adds a lot to it, which is fun. But yeah, like he um, just having him filming was so weird because he's just like out of his element. He's just like uh, Emily told me to film while she's gone so <laughs> it's like really funny just thought everything oh he would be so stressed he'd be so stressed oh let's see one more of these leafy things wait is there one more of these leafy things i don't think so one two no here we go that and then this goes like here no is that right oh there we go okay okay i think that's good okay nailed it we have our little leafy things going on this is good this is good 
Oh, random stuff. What's going on? Do you still like Mario? Will you ever get more vids on it when the Peach sets come out? Um, I mean, it's... I don't know. It's, it's hard with Mario because, like, I love the characters, you know? But, like, I'm not going to set up a course in my house. Like, that's not what I like about the sets. I love them for the characters. Like, they're so cute. I do wish... Like, someone brought this up once and I love this idea of, like, um... You know, with all the characters, because they all have the scan codes on them, and it almost, like, ruins it, because, you know, it's just, you know, it's a scan code over its, like, on top of its head or something, and you're like, eh, I don't really, like, want that there. But it would be so cool if they came with, um, like, an extra piece, like, an extra, like, brown tile for the Goombas, so instead of on top of the head it's a scanner thing, it would be, like, just a brown tile. And, like, of course I can switch it out myself, but how nice would that be, you know, because... For me, I don't, I don't want to play the game. I don't scan them. Like, I think it's really cool. Like, I, I really like that it works like that. I guess, like, just something different and neat, and like you can play a game and it's computers and stuff. Like, that's kind of cool. But I'm not gonna like keep that. You know, it's like fun to do it once, and you're like, okay, cool. Like, I'm gonna go do something else now. So I don't know. I, I think we'll probably get them for the characters. Like, if there's sets without any of any new characters in them, then we probably won't get those. You know, I, I just, I really like the characters. That's what I like about it. So, yeah, we'll just have to see. I haven't actually even looked at all the sets yet. I'm just like, I don't know. I think we'll probably get them. Ross, Ross likes them a lot more. I think Ross likes them more than I do, but they're still pretty cool. They're neat. Is that the official terminology? Leafy things? Eek. <laughs> Yeah, so we got the leafy things, we got the slopey pieces, um, and then we have pieces like this that we call a leftover piece when I mess up. It happens a lot. <laughs> My favorite thing is like asking chat, and I'm like, is this a leftover piece? You know, and everyone's like, no, it's not, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's not, no. I messed up clearly. My bad. <laughs> The characters are awesome, but not into the Mario playset. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of how I feel. Peach's castle looks dope. <laughs> Ross is still hanging out. Hey, Ross. Hi, Ross. Yeah, Peach's castle. I mean, there's we don't know about a D to C yet, though, right? Like, there's been no rumors or anything about the next Nintendo set. I think a Switch would be cool. Like, I think some something was like an Atari was rumored, something like that. But it's like. I, I never played Atari. I honestly don't really know too much about what that is. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't, that's not something I need. Like the NES was cool because it's like a TV, it interacts with Mario. Like, I like it for that aspect. It's not like a, I don't know, nostalgic thing for me. I really just never, it's, yeah, I, I never played with one. So it's, that's not why I got that one. So if it's like a Switch or like a GameCube, where are my GameCube people at? I loved my GameCube growing up. Monkey Ball was my favorite. That was just like my favorite game to play. It was such like a weird game and I don't, I still don't fully understand it because it was just so weird, but loved it. So fun. We're all too young to know what Atari is. I don't think we're all too young for that, <laughs> but I, I never played with one. I, yeah, it's, I would say it, it's not meant for me. <laughs> not, not really my thing. Ross, will you get the Mario sets? I think we will. I think we will. If he's still here, he'll probably be like, yep. So, I think I can answer for him, but if he has a separate answer, then let me know. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, what's going on, Claire? Welcome, welcome. Oh, the stream crashed a bit for you? In television? Wait, is it? It looks like the only one that's saying that so far, so I, I think we're good. We're good? I think we're good. Okay. Stream's still here. We are live. <laughs> good. Um, I feel so old. <laughs> That's okay. That is okay, magic. <laughs> Legos for everyone, you know? You're never too old for it. I don't think you need to feel old, you know? The GameCube is still fun to play. I don't have mine anymore. I tried to, like, purchase one so I could still play, like, my old games. And uh, that just didn't really happen too well. I couldn't find one, so that's okay. And then Ross is like, oh, I have one. And like his mom brought it one of the times that she came to visit and it like was broken. So that was a bummer. I was, I was sad. <laughs> uh. Is 
this right? Okay, here we go. We have a few more leafy pieces, the official name, and then the next bag. We are almost done, y'all. This that's so good. Okay. Okay, where did these, where does this go? Oh man, okay. And over and far end. Okay. Oh man, okay, there we go. Something like that. Okay. Oh man. It's fine. Okay, good, good. The stream's good. We're still alive. Good. Sometimes I just don't know. Like anything can happen. It could crash and I'd be like, I have no idea how to fix this. <laughs> oh man, Magic saying I'm so old I had a dot matrix printer and that was a state of the art at the time. I honestly don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the Mario sets, like, it's just the kind of thing, like, I don't, you know, the characters are what I like. So that's that's what I, I like about them. That's why I purchased them. Um, and those were actually some of the first sets that I got when I was first getting into Lego. Like, that was the first release day where we went and it was like, oh my gosh, like, so much is here. Can't wait. So exciting. So they also just kind of have a special place in my heart. I just, I like them. <laughs> Um, is this right? Okay, there we go. There's that. Um, man, I think I'm like miss- there's no way I'm missing a leaf piece. Like, I think I just used the wrong one somewhere. This is weird. Okay, let's see. Huh. I don't know. This is- I'm confused. I think I messed up the leaves, y'all. This is- that's like almost embarrassing. They all look so different. Okay. What about this one? Is this one right? Okay, wait. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. I messed it up less now. Okay, here we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. I put the wrong one somewhere. My bad. See, y'all were distracting me. I'm gonna blame y'all. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's 100% my fault. Don't worry. I am I am aware of that. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm missing here. Okay. That. Oh, okay. I'm like stressing over this build. Oh my god. Okay. This goes here. Okay, that. Looking good. We have like three or four more pieces, so hopefully we we'll find a spot for them. It always stresses me out, like at the end of the bag. Okay, good, good. Okay, phew, good. We're good. We're good. Um, oh, let's see. Laser pr printers are so cheap now. Um. Ma yeah, I guess so. I still supported a dot matrix printer about five years ago for someone. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Smurf saying it never lined up no matter how hard you tried. Fair. Um, oh man, AG saying a, what, a dot matrix printer was a printer that, um, with little dots. Oh, that's, yeah. I feel like I've like seen that, but uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can, Oh, oh, that's so neat. So we're putting on the little wires now and 
wow, that's actually so easy. I thought this would be like a little bit more challenging. You literally just place them on ones and then they just kind of like fall across. So I like this. This is this is good. I, I can manage this. Okay, and then this goes kind of in, in front. This is cool. Okay. Yeah, this is looking good. This is good. This is good. We are good. And it gives you one extra, which is also really nice because sometimes I lose these and that's that's always scary because it's like such a weird piece, you know, like I don't have like an extra one anywhere. Um, oh, Scott, yes, thank you so much. Yeah, please do for, um, like the stream, subscribe if you're new, check out memberships, just all that kind of YouTube stuff. I really do appreciate it, y'all. Okay, let's see. Did I get this right? I think so. Cool. Yeah, it's looking good. Uh, I like it. I like this a lot. Okay. Neat. Okay, something like that. Cool. So here is the background. I still have a leaf. I feel like this probably goes somewhere. Oh, here we go. Okay. Cool. Nailed it. Look how pretty. Okay. And then you just play with your, your set. Okay. There's like four more pieces here with tileys and then we get to build our last jeep so i'm excited those look like really cool elements for fences right that would be kind of neat yeah i'm trying to think of like what kind of method i want to do for like the fence around disney world because you don't want it to just be i don't know like open i guess like I, I want some sort of little fence around the park i just feel like it'll like clean it up along the edges but I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. I'll have to like look and just get some ideas from like, you know, the internet, like other Lego City people. Um, Mr. Bookie Boo, his city's incredible. Like the way that he does his wall looks so nice. Shy, I like how he does his like wall around the city too. So kind of like, you know, seeing what other people do to make that look really nice. It's, it'll look really good. Um, oh, Super Monkey Ball. I love Super Monkey Ball, Tevin. That's awesome. I love Monkey Ball. Okay. Ah. There we go. There's that. And then there's this. Y'all, and then one more bag, y'all. Are you ready? I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Bag nine. Let me show you guys where we're at so far, because we're pretty much... I don't, like, I don't want to say we're done, because we're not. Like, we still have to do, like, the little Jeep build. But, like, here's our T-Rex. <laughs> here's our Jeep. And it's just going along the terrain. Look how cool this is. This is so neat. Okay. So, there's those. I'm just going to set that there, because it's beautiful. Like that. Like that. There we go. That's a good spot. There looks to be a lot of stickers in this set. There are. So here's kind of our sticker sheet. Here's what we're working with. Pretty much everything left goes on the Jeep. So I wish they were printed, but it's it's fine, it's fine. I always just like prefer printed elements, but we do have some printed. Check that out. A printed piece there. Is it gonna focus? There we go. There it is. <laughs> Perfect. Oh man, okay. We're building another vehicle. Man. I don't know which Jurassic Park movie is my favorite, because, like, I don't remember two that well, but three I loved and one I loved. I feel like one's just, like, the best, because it's, like, the original one. Like, it's classic. It's it's so good. Whoa, what's this thing? Look at this, like, weird piece. Let me put it on here so you can see it better. There we go. That like grayish piece on top that's one piece. Have y'all seen that before? That's so weird. It's like those rounded, like what, in, like plates? I don't even know the real name for it. Like the curved one by two plates. It's kind of like that, but not, I don't know, weird. It's super weird. It's three plates tall. Yeah, it's three plates tall. That's a weird piece. I don't think I've seen that before. Maybe it's like a piece common in cars. Because that would explain why I probably haven't seen it, but yeah, that's that's so weird. I just haven't seen that before. It's kind of cool. Do they connect on the plate or stay loose? Um, oh, on here? They'll connect, I believe. 
Well, I guess the car won't, because, like, how would that connect? I don't know how that would connect, but... Maybe they are just loose. I don't know. Can the, can the T-Rex... I don't think that he can be attached to anything. Like, maybe you could put, like, part of his foot there just to place him better. But I guess they don't connect. Huh. We'll see. We'll see at the end. I, as of right now, I'm like, I don't think they do. I don't know how they would do that, but maybe we will just have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure. When is double VIP points? I don't know. Does anyone in chat know when the next double VIP is going to be? Ross really wants the Star Destroyer, and I don't know if that's ever going to happen. It's so expensive, you know, but it's kind of thing like he really wants it, and you know, he loves Star Wars. I was actually watching New Hope last night because I hadn't seen it in forever, and like Ross is out of town, and he won't, you know, he doesn't want me to watch the shows that we watch together while he's gone, which I, I'll respect that, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, this is our show, we're watching this together. So I was watching New Hope again, and I was just like, man, I kind of do want that Star Destroyer. Like, I don't know. It looks, it just looks so good. I don't know where we would put it, but maybe in a coffee table? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find a spot. It's the kind of thing, like, you, you find a spot for it. You don't just, you know, set it somewhere. You got a nice display, put lights, and yeah, it's it's going to look cool. I'm, I'm excited. Here's one side. There we go. But yeah, sets coming out soon. I would say Harry Potter. I am really excited for the new Harry Potter wave. They look incredible. Um, the Ministry of Magic is probably what I'll be building first, I think. That's at least, like, more on the top of my list. I just think it looks so cool. Like, I don't know, like, the... Uh, the way that it like um it's like modular that's kind of neat to me um i don't know where it would go in the city like i'm not getting it as much for that i just feel like it would look a lot of fun to build so i don't know and it was also just kind of like a fun part of harry potter too it was just like seeing the ministry and just i don't know it'll just be fun kind of like living through it again but in lego if that makes sense i'm looking forward to it um oh june 24th to 30th well maybe me and ross will get our Star Destroyer then it probably won't be part of the you know be included in that because apparently that's a thing now but hopefully we can pick it up I would really like to um oh Angel the Firebirds thank you so much for your support Angel it's so great to see you hey guys what's going on welcome Angel thank you so much I hope you're doing good Angel it's it's summer so school's out do you have anything awesome planned for the summer Angel let us know it's always really fun um, where do I put you? Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm like trying to find somewhere. Okay, here we go. We'll go up here. R.I.P. Dino. Coochie Q. Here we go. It's tiny, but you're on here, Angel. You're on here. I made it work. Um, Angel. There you are. <laughs> Thank you so much, Angel. It's always great having you here. Welcome, welcome. Can't wait for the coaster. Oh my gosh, same, Ambi. Same. Oh, you could put it on the night table. Yeah, we actually just have the falcon on our night table. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. Um, but it just doesn't do it justice there. Gosh, it's like foot's all. Okay, let's fix you. Let's fix you. There you go. Something like that. It just doesn't do it justice, I think. Like, just having it there, it's just kind of like a big thing, you know? Not as, not as cool. Not as cool. Okay, let's see. Sticker time, y'all. Wish me luck. Actually, that looks pretty good. Nailed it. And 13. Cool. I did pretty good with that. Jurassic Park. Eat. <laughs> awesome. Oh, let's see. Oh, Mamasaurus. Hello. Just got home from seeing Top Gun Maverick for the third time. Man, that's crazy. Did you like it? I, I guess I... I assume you did since you've seen it three times now. I mean, why would you see a movie so much if you hate it? So 
man, I need to, I need to watch that. I really do. Like, I've heard a lot of good things from people in chat, from, you know, everyone talking about it, so I should probably go see it. Have you seen a new Obi-Wan, um, Vader set? Yeah, um, I don't really care for it. Like, yeah, I don't know. Not my thing. Not, not for me. It just, the base is, it just looks like a mock to me. You know, it, it, it really does. It looks like something like, Ross is really good at that freeform kind of style, you know, with like a bunch of snots and stuff. And like, that's, that looks like something Ross does. You know, it's, I don't need it. If the figures are great, I actually haven't looked at the figures too close. I'm just like, that base is not really for me. Um, yeah, not really feeling it. I don't know your, your thoughts on the set y'all, but yeah, that's, I, I, I don't need that set in my collection. I really don't. So I can, at least I can save some of my money and get something else. That's, that's kind of nice. Um, okay. Sticker number 16. Stressing. Stressing. Okay. Ooh, that looks nice. Nailed it. Eek. Okay. Oh, uh, Liz, never for nine months. Bringing joy since 21. Do I dare say I love you? Oh, Liz. <laughs> That's so sweet. Aw. Thank you so much for being a member for so long, Liz. It's so great having you here, and I just really appreciate you being here. Thank you. I don't know where to put you, though. Okay, here. Here's the spot. It's, like, pretty full, and I, I haven't made a new one yet, obviously. But at least we're, we're filling it in a little bit better. Um, wait, where did I put you? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Liz, oh, at the top. There you are. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Aww. You're so sweet. It's so great having you here. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's see. Um, yeah, for 50 bucks, it's a lot of money. That that new set, yeah, the open one set. Yeah, not, not feeling it. Not for me. If Ross wants it, we can get it. Like, I don't have a problem with getting it. It's just... I personally just don't care for it too much. I, I really don't need it. Not my thing. It's it's really whatever to me. So, I mean, it's kind of nice, you know, like having sets that I'm not super interested in because there's so many that I just really want all the time. So I can save some money. So like, it's almost, I don't know. It's kind of a good thing. I'm seeing the good in it. So I don't, I don't need it, you know? Everything else is just crazy expensive this summer, so it's one less thing I need to spend money on, which is kind of nice. Oh, Nick Gundy, hello, hello. Is that the Brickhead set, Angel? Ooh, I missed the conversation. Well, it's great to see you here, Nick. Great to see you. Uh, let's see. We're building our set, and it is beautiful. I don't know what to do with this one, though. Like, I kind of want to do, like, a area in the city, like a Jurassic Park area, but, like, I don't have room. It's not in the plans. You know, it's just, I don't know how it would work. So I think it'll just go on display. I love dinosaurs. I'm a Saurus, you know, it's kind of on brand, you know, it kind of works. So I think I'll just do that for now and just kind of leave it. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that looks so good. I love this printed piece here. Oh my gosh. Look at that printed piece. Can you see it? Can you see it better now? Maybe. Jurassic Park, Lego Jurassic Park. Oh, I love that. That looks so good. Cool. I didn't even know that that came in here. So I'm happy. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, here's that. Here's that. Dino Nuggets. I love it, Angel. <laughs> awesome. Um. Yeah, it looks like we're talking about that new set. Yeah, I mean, it seems like the general consensus is it's just not great. And I don't know, I'm just I'm just really not into it. If you like it, that's awesome. Like, I'm happy for you. That's that's awesome, you know, but for me, I just I just really don't care. It's like not something I need to add to my collection. But Harry Potter's coming, the new roller coaster, the Viking ship, is, that one's coming out later. It's so confusing keeping track of it because like some of them are already out in Europe and I'm like, Man, I want, I want that set now though. <laughs> and it doesn't come out yet. So that's always a bummer every year, just like waiting and like seeing the rest of the world getting it. And you're like, soon enough, soon enough, it's fine. 
Like, at least we're getting it. It's not like it's a regional exclusive. We're just getting it like two months later. So it's really not the end of the world at all. <laughs> it's really okay. Most Star Wars sets are overpriced. They really can be. I mean, so much with Lego feels overpriced, but it's also like, is it overpriced though? I don't know. Like, I'm so used to things being expensive that I don't really know where the line of like overpriced is. Um, but I am really bummed out about like the price increases. That's, I don't know. I feel like it would have been more accepted by the community if maybe they like, oh gosh, stickers. Eee, okay. Um, is this right? Yeah, there we go. Like if they just did it silently, you know, and like prices were going out and like, or like prices are going up, um, sets are already out, but like they don't increase those prices. They just, you know, increase price sets like a little bit for like upcoming things. I feel like that would be better, but like increasing the price of sets that are already out seems a little weird. Um, yeah, that's, that's where it's kind of like, why? <laughs> but I mean, it makes sense, you know, like the world is changing, inflation is crazy, but I don't love that Lego is passing that all onto us when they do make a lot of profit, so I don't know. It's already expensive. I just don't want it to go up in value, or I want it to go up in value, I guess, but not up in price. I want the price to stay. Because also I feel like that'll just lead to more scalping, like, you know, the Disney castle or Falcon or whatever. Like, I feel like people will go buy the set and buy like six of them and just hold on to them. Cause you know, if like next month it goes up by $40, it's like, well, you kind of just like made $40, you know? So I don't know, just kind of a bummer. I just want everything to be, you know, I want everything to be cheap, but I know that's not like realistic either. Like, and I, I fully understand that. <laughs> uh, Nigon, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Oh, let's see, the Viking ship is on sale already. Oh, cool, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I went to the Lego store on release day and I didn't see it there yet, but it was also so hectic and it was just like a crazy day. Whenever it's release day, it's it's crazy. Like so many people show up and people get there like three hours early. Some people come and like, I've been there three hours early before and there's always, there's always like at least one person there before me. And I'm just like, why are you here? Like. You've been here alone for an hour and a half at this point. Why, why are you here? Like, <laughs> you'll get what you want. Don't worry, don't worry. But good for them. You know, it's, if you have nothing else going on, it's like, cool. Like, at least you're sure that you get it. You do get to socialize with some people. And so it is kind of like a community event on release days, which I really love. It'd be kind of fun if like the Lego store did like something extra for release days besides just, you know, like the Lego sets. Like, I don't even know what that would involve, but you know, making it more like, a community event, you know, that would be kind of cool. I don't know what, what that would mean or anything. That's just like me thinking out loud literally right now that just popped into my head. I'm like, that would be kind of cool. So maybe at some point, I don't know. Again, I don't know what that would look like, but kind of cool. Hello there from H Town. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Oh gosh, sticker, sticker. Eee. Okay. That set looks amazing. Thanks. Yeah, it's, it's coming along really good. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. It's really fun. So yeah, thanks for stopping in. Welcome, welcome. They've been upping prices with recent releases. They finally came out with the announcement when they decided to raise the prices on already released sets. Yeah, I think that was, cause you know, it's, pe people are understanding like inflation happens, things are always going up, but when they're increasing the price of already out sets, like that's just so weird to me. I don't know, like, I wouldn't have expected them to do that. that. That was kind of shocking, but I guess, you know, it makes sense though at the same time. I just wish it wasn't happening. <laughs> um, don't move. It can see us if you don't move. <laughs> Love it. Oh, that's awesome. I'm off to go to the Lego store with my lug. Oh, awesome, Andrew Dragon. What are you after? Are you getting anything fun today? Let us know, let us know. The Viking ships on sale. Man, there's so much that is on sale already that I like wasn't aware of, I guess. I don't know. Like, yeah, I just didn't see it at the Lego store. So I was like, okay. And again, it's so hard keeping up with it. Like knowing what's coming out here versus like Europe and all that. Cause I mean, there's so many videos and it's usually easier to like watch a video, like everything coming out in June. And then you're like, cool. Okay. Got it. 
but then some of it's like Europe only and I don't know. I'm just doing my best, y'all. <laughs> like, Lego's my job and I can't even keep up with it. So I don't know how everyone else does it. I really have no idea. So here's the back of our Ford Explorer. I will call it a Ford Explorer now because it says on the back. It says Ford. You can see the little Ford sticker. It's there. It's there. Um. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Man. What am I doing now? Okay, there we go. There's that. Aww. These wheel pieces are actually really neat. Um, I showed them a little bit earlier, but they're just like the yellow spinny things. They're kind of cool. They're neat. I like them. <laughs> I got the back of the car. Can you see that? It's like a little wheelbarrow. <laughs> kind of fun. Jurassic Dominion. It comes out in two days. I don't care if the plot is trash. I just care that the original cast is coming back together. Yeah, that's like what I'm most excited about, just seeing everyone together. That's that's just so cool. Like, I'm excited that, you know, everyone agreed to it. They were able to get everybody. Jeff Goldblum is back, y'all. And he's just, I don't know. He's, like, become super, like, popular again lately. I feel like he wasn't for a while. And then all of a sudden he's, like, a meme. And it's like, oh, okay, I guess. Okay. He's cool again. Okay, cool. So, I'm excited. That'll be pretty neat. He has his show, um, like, Little Things or something. Oh, what is it? The small things? I don't know, it's on Disney Plus and he just goes around and looks at small things. And so one of them was like, kind of about Lego and it showed Legoland California and the park out there and just like the mini land. So it's kind of cool seeing like Lego involved in that. Um, you know, cause it is, it is a small thing. So it's like, yeah, story checks out. It's pretty cool. But yeah, definitely like seeing Jeff Goldblum coming back. What do you do for work? I do this. <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> It's cool, it's fun, I like it. Totally different than what I used to do. I like studied data science and now I build Lego sets, but I love it. It's it's a good time. I mean, yeah, this, this is me working right now. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh. oh, and Doug is here, what's going on Doug? Welcome, I finally ordered the recent Speed Champions lineup. I'm excited, awesome. I have a few speed champions that I'm waiting to build. I was gonna, I was thinking about doing them today and then, um, I don't know. I figured it was the kind of thing, like, it would be more fun with Ross to do it. You know, we could, like, each be building one kind of thing and just do, like, a speed champion stream. So stay tuned for that. If you guys like speed champions and you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing down below. It really does help me out. Um, but yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. We're doing that one soon. I'll be doing a stream for my first rebrickable stream. That'll be the... It's the Lego Friends um, Friendship Treehouse, but turning it into the beekeeper's home or something. Beekeeper's cottage. I don't, I forget what it's called, but it's a really cool rebrickable. Really excited to build it. Um, but yeah, kind of nervous because I've never done a rebrickable on stream before. So hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully I don't, you know, mess up everything completely. So stay tuned. <laughs> we'll see. I love the Speed Champion sets. Oh, awesome Pluto. That's so cool. Yeah, I mean, they look really nice. You know, I've just never really been into cars. I like the IP cars. I guess they all are IP. It's like Ford, Chevrolet, whatever. But, man, I just, I don't know. I've just never, like, really been into it. But they look nice. And I want to do, like, a car dealership or Carvana kind of thing in the city at some point. I don't know why I want to do that. But I just, I just think it's neat. You know, it's something kind of tall. It's a building that I feel like wouldn't be impossible to build. So... I'm gonna give it a try. We'll we'll see how it goes. Um, oh, Mike's saying I'm back. The top row of the Lego shelf decided to commit to. Oh no, <laughs> I got most of them out back together. Um, I'm surprised how most of them come together. Oh no, that's like the worst. That's like my least favorite thing is putting Lego back together. Like if it breaks or something, I'm just like, well. Nope, I'm done. I'm not doing this again. Like, unless if I really want to do the build again, then yeah, that's fine. But if something just breaks, I'm like, no, I'm good. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to. 
So at least most of your stuff stick together. That's that's good. That's never that's never fun. At least for me, it's not fun. So maybe it is for you. I don't know. Maybe you enjoy putting back stuff together. I don't. <laughs> not my thing. Oh no. Um, Brian's saying, okay, now it's actually time for my meeting. Then it's off to the vet. Enjoy the rest of the stream since I won't be back unless you're still on at six. I will not be on at six. So have a good rest of your day, Brian. Thanks so much for stopping by. And I'm sure we will see you back here very soon. So yeah, have a good rest of your day, Brian. Thanks so much for stopping in. Um, I got the art school to mock up to put in my city idea from you. Aw, Smurf. Isn't it pretty? The art school, I love that set. It's so pretty, so. Yeah, I hope you enjoy that one. It looks so good. Um, where is it? I think it's in my city somewhere. I haven't like changed it up or anything yet. Um, isn't there, there's like one resort at Disney, like the, um, oh, what is it even called? The, not the contemporary. There's like one of the hotels there that's like a art themed hotel. And so I'm like, oh man, that would be kind of cool um, to do something like that with the set maybe. I haven't like thought it through all the way yet, obviously, but that's that's where I'm thinking right now. That's kind of where my my head's going with it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, this is neat. Um. Oh, Katie Soros, how's it going? How many bags you got left? I'm actually on my last bag. We are so close. We have like this many pieces left we're we're like almost there we are so close katie so close it's looking really good too i i really like the set art of animation yes that one thank you mike yes <laughs> perfect yeah it's that one so i was thinking like maybe trying to do that since it is like colorful and kind of fun um but i don't know i'll have to like look at it again because i've i've like seen the hotel but like what I think it looks like in my head might not actually be what it looks like. So I need to maybe revisit that and just make sure before being like, this is the art of animation and having it look nothing like it. <laughs> I'm itching to pick up the new Optimus Prime set. Oh, you should do it, Doug. Do it, do it, do it. That's exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's so much fun. Like I have it over on my shelf over there. It was so much fun to build and it like transforms without taking off any of the pieces. It's, it's really cool. Really do love that set. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, hey. Uh, Let's see, Shail Endra, welcome, welcome from Amsterdam. It's great to have you. Hope you're doing well today. Are you up to anything? You working and lurking? You building something? What's going on? Just welcome to the stream. So here we have the front of our Jeep. And then, ooh, here we go. Oh man, okay. Oh man. Okay. Stressing, Just making sure I get this right. E. Okay, there's those. Oh, that looks good. Cool. This is a good set, y'all. Oh, thanks, Master Jedi. Yes, art of animation. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, you twisted my arm. You should get it, Doug. Do it. It's so much fun. It's like, I mean, it's also like Transformers. Like, that's crazy. Like, no one ever thought that would happen. Like, even um, during the Lego Masters interview, I think that was, yeah, that was yesterday, yesterday morning. Like, Jamie Berard was, like, talking about that, too. He was just like, man, I, like, I always wanted LEGO to do Transformers. Like, I always wanted them to. And then they do it. Like, after, you know, years of him, like, kind of, like, wishing for it. It's like, wow, finally. So, even the designers are thrilled about it. Like, everyone's just so happy that it's a thing. And, yeah, I think, I think you should do it, Doug. Peer pressure. But <laughs> do it. It's such a good one. Okay. Oh my gosh, y'all. We are like five pieces away. This is insane. Okay. Let's do it. There's that. Boy, do I hate being right all the time in Malcolm. <laughs> Look at this. This printed piece here. That is cool. I love that. So we get two really nice printed pieces. They go in the front. And now, where do these go? Mm 
Camilla's missing a wheel? I'm like, what am I doing this? Oh no. Where's this wheel? It's like big enough that I should see it. Oh no. <laughs> like I know it's always me, you know, like I know it, it's it's here. Do y'all see a wheel? <laughs> Let me know. Check the bag. Okay. Let's see. No wheel. Oh no. Huh. I don't know where the wheel is. All right, it's like a very sad car without the wheel. Okay, right, let's let's see. Maybe I put on two wheels when I shouldn't have before. Oh, okay, okay. I I messed up. I messed up. Okay, good, good. Okay. Whew. I was just like, where is the wheel? Okay, we're good. Stay calm, everyone. We figured it out. This one in the back was, so on, in the back of it, cause it is like, it's supposed to be like upside down. One of the wheels is right. And then the other one's just like the black rim thing. So we're good, we're good. <gasps> I was like, where's the wheel? I was not happy. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're good. Whew. I saw two of these, where did these go? Let's see. I have two of these like little like one by two great things. This is a set from Jurassic Park. <laughs> I like that, Richard. I like that. <laughs> oh, like someone has asked us recently, like, oh, is it Emma Soros? Because like Emma saw Ross, and I was like, no, but that's kind of funny. I like that. <laughs> but no, it's not. It was literally just dinosaurs. Okay, I don't know where these pieces come in to play. I don't know. <laughs> I have these two leftover pieces and like, that's it. But I'm like, where did they go? That's pretty good though for me, you know? Like usually after a build, I have like a thousand pieces left over or like a giant like two by 12 brick or something ridiculous. So I'm I'm pretty proud of myself. I, I feel like we're good today. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, There it is. There it is. Okay. They, the little black, pieces here. We're supposed to go over to red lights in the back of the car. It's kind of hard to see it, but those are trans red pieces underneath. Maybe you can see it better from the side, but no, you can't. There's red pieces. That's yeah, that's it. <laughs> Wish the T-Rex had pr printed eyes and not stickers. Yeah, same. Yeah. I also wish that because like the stickers on the eyes almost like they don't ruin it for me, but they don't help. They definitely don't help. Um, okay, so how does this go? Does it really just sit there? No, there's no way. Does it, it really just sits there? Is that really it? Hmm. Cool, okay, so you just put it there. <laughs> And then in the front, oh no, pieces broke off. Okay. There's those. A leaf fell. Okay. Here we go. It's, it's coming. I think we're we're pretty much done. Okay, so. Let's see. And then you really just set them on. So yeah, whoever said that earlier was definitely right. You, you literally just place the things. Oh, okay. Okay, so the dino, wait. I think it does actually stick here. Okay, yeah, there we go. So the dino, um, the, 
leg. You can see it kind of stuck down there, so that's good. I don't really know where to place the rest of it. I don't know. It's like all like mangled. Oh no. Okay. Let's see if I can get him standing. Have him looking good. Okay. Let's see. His tail is. You know, he's just misunderstood. He's just trying to make friends and everyone's running and screaming. You know, he's just trying to make friends with everybody. Poor Dino. The Dino's the real good guy. <laughs> okay. Here's our diorama. It's pretty. I like it. Here, let's get that out of the way so I can see better. The T-Rex is missing some fingers, but I'll just kind of put them here for... <laughs> Ross to find later. Sorry, Ross. Um, I get everything? Yeah. Here it is. That looks so cool. Um, so yeah, dino, jeep upside down. Everything is like loose, which is kind of fun because now you can like use it for play. You can display it, put it in your city. You can do pretty much whatever with it. The dino, it's all like, it's only stuck down with its foot on that side, but that's, that's pretty much it. The rest of it's all like the dino needs dots. I might dot the dino. I might do it. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe put one foot on the flipped truck. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. I love it. Okay. There's that. Um. Oh no. Okay, let's, as long as this foot's secure. Okay. There's that foot. This one. Broke his head. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Yeah, something like that, right? Oh, you can you can barely even see that here. Let's turn that a little bit. His foot's on it. He just kind of looks like he's about to fall over, though. Like how he's posed, it makes it hard because the the head can't turn that way. I don't know. I can leave it. I'll leave it. Like the make the T Rex nimble nibble on the tire, like in the movie. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I love this. <laughs> Rah. Oh no. Here. Oh, he's eating the tire. He's hungry. <laughs> Coochie coo. <laughs> that was my favorite Ross moment ever when we were building the ATAT. -AT. And, you know, when you build it, like, its legs are up, so it's, like, on its back. And, you know, it, it looks super weird. But, you know, it just had its belly there, essentially. And Ross is just like, <laughs> like, nothing happens, you know? And then he's just like, Coochie coo. On, like giving the 1818 belly rubs. It was so weird, but I was like, this is actually really funny. Good job, Ross. So yeah, here's our dino. He's got his leg on there. He's eating the tire because he's hungry. We also, I, don't, I didn't show you guys this earlier because like there's not really as much to see in the back, but kind of cool is this chain. Can you see this okay? Oh my gosh, I'll get my finger out of the way, but there it is, <laughs> that chain for the goat. They did not include a goat. Kind of bummed. Everyone likes likes the Lego goats, but that's okay. That's okay. Maybe one day we'll get another goat. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's done, y'all. Thanks everyone so much for coming. I really appreciate y'all being here for hanging out. And I'm glad we actually finished it. It's always kind of awkward when you do like a finale part two. <laughs> it's like oops. So yeah, the set is finished. Um I really like it. I guess overall thoughts, it's really great that, you know, all the pieces do come apart because for me, I do like to have stuff in my city. I like to have it, you know, on display, but also playability. Like it's cool having that versatility to the set. Um, the dino build is great. I do wish, like someone mentioned earlier, the eye stickers, I would say they were printed. Um, so that's probably my biggest complaint about the set, honestly, is just that, you know, now that you point that out, I'm like, yeah, that's probably the worst part. Just like all the stickers in general, because it is for display. Like, you can definitely tell that these are stickers. So not thrilled about all the sticker work in here, but it keeps the price down. And for hundred bucks, I feel like this is a pretty cool build. So I enjoyed this one. So yeah, again, thanks everyone for hanging out. Um, stay tuned for some more Lego City stuff. Please do consider subscribing if you are new here. It really does help me out, so thank you. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. I'll try to put out some more videos later this week. We'll see if that happens. If not, then I don't know. Have a good weekend. <laughs> I don't know. There'll be videos tomorrow. Don't worry. All right, guys. Bye.
Bye. Where's the end? There it is.